Well, hi there, Nixian. Welcome. Welcome. How is everyone today, huh? Yeah, just getting a little bit of a... Just giving people time to, to join in. Um, I'm, I'm joined by my good friend Red here. Hello. <laughs> yeah, this should be good. This is gonna be this is gonna be fun. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's it's been a little bit, but I'm glad to finally be back on Twitch. I'm really glad to finally be back here. It's gonna be good. <laughs> I haven't been on Twitch before. No, but didn't you set up your own Twitch page? I did, because yeah. I think it would be really fun to do, but I have not yet. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, I'm sure that once uh, once you get the equipment necessary, it's going to be great. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that'd be so fun. No, I mean, it already looks great. Uh, if you want, you can plug it, but I mean, there's, <laughs> there's not really anything there. <laughs> Just... Ah, uh, go check out my cool banner, guys. <laughs> it is a good-looking banner. It oh, is a gosh. really good-looking banner. No! <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Alright, I think it's about time that we, uh... Now we go into it. You got everything uh, good on your end there, Red? Yeah, See it everything? should be good to go. Alright. Mm -hmm. Let me just... Turn that do, down. Do, do. And I gotta t turn on the volume for, for, for Monster Prom. There it is. Yeah, people gotta hear them. Yeah, can you hear it good on your end? Yeah! Alright, nice. <laughs> cool and tunes. there it is! Everyone should be able to see Monster Prom very soon. Um, there it is, yeah. Okay. You know, it's... We, we've, we've, played, we've played the base game once or twice. I think it's time we finally mm -hmm. move on to something I've never played once. Oh. Second term. What would that be? Oh. Adding more characters, more events, and just a, I don't know if it's a different area, but just more in general. What could be better than that? More monster prom. Well, I guess we'll find out. Yeah, let's get right into it. <laughs> yeah. Full game? Full game. Yeah, sure. Yeah, let's go for the full game. Uh, we're we're we uh, sharing sharing a controller. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, in person too. I swear. Oh yes, yes, definitely. That's why the microphones are different. Yes. <laughs> ah, spooky high school, the sweetest years of our lives. Back then we were young and unafraid. Sometimes reckless, sometimes brilliant, sometimes just stupid, but always willing to live life to the fullest. I don't know, man. I think they're usually stupid. No, I mean, <laughs> I don't know if there's been a... I mean, there's definitely been some reckless events. I don't... I really don't know if there's been a single brilliant event I've seen <laughs> in the game so far. <laughs> yeah. We were on a wild journey to discover who we really were. And I... Am... Uh... Be... Be... No... Bagel... <laughs> Lowercase bagel. bagel. Yes, tiny bagel. Small. All right. Who are you feeling? Oh, you know me. Come on. Red. I'm fire. <laughs> it's how it works. Yeah. Let me just let me fix it up for you. There you go. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Nobody ever spells it right. <laughs> I wonder why. Oh, oh this is new. Oh. This is all right. We're really getting into the new stuff, huh? And we had yet to experience its ultimate challenge, the monster prom. Ooh. Oh, oh that looks cool. Ooh. 
I remember it clearly. Three weeks were left, and as we fantasized about our dream prom dates, we were all scrambling to catch the attention of one of the eight most charismatic classmates. Scott. Scott. Miranda. These. Ah. Uh, <laughs> that's new. Fitting. Yeah, that's also very fitting. That's Polly right there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, Damien. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Hey, There's the Damien I know. There's the Damien I know. <laughs> Liam. Ah. Uh, He's Liam. <laughs> Who are you? Oh. Who are you? I love you. I love her. Oh. An eldritch cutie who went from endless deity of the dark realms to ultimate fangirl. <laughs> oh. Calculester Hewlett Packard. Ah. Oh. <laughs> A library uh, computer who had become a sentient robot ready to experience life to its fullest. That is awesome. Oh, I love that. And Vera. <laughs> She's Vera. Uh, yeah, that's not new. It was clear. <laughs> it had to be one of them, but who? With three weeks to choose. We only had three weeks to woo them, conquer their heart. But as I already said, we were young and unafraid. And we were ready to start. Right. Alrighty then. What a way... I'm already liking these new characters. I'll be honest with you there. Uh, me too. I don't know who I'm going to choose yet. <laughs> I, I think I already have someone in mind. All minds are rotten, but they're rotten in so many Can different you? ways. We're not... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quiz. Yep, to get you your stats. Mm-hmm. <laughs> to anyone that might be wondering why we're skipping through this, we've... I've read this... I've read every single one of those several times. As well mm. as... Red's been here like one or twice, once or twice, and it's always the exact same stuff. So we're just like, nah. uh, I mean, you'll you'll get plenty of ideas who the characters really are in a, in a moment. Yeah. So how would you talk a cop out of arresting you? Ah, uh, you know, Cash usually does the trick. I mean, don't. <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyway. Use your acting skills, convince the officer you're actually the police. You know what? Go for the other kill and make them pay you a fine. Ah, uh, uh, of course. Of course, of course. Uh -huh. Use your seduction skills. They don't call it heck the police for nothing. Wow. Oh, oh, oh. Use your gaming skills. Everyone knows that a police officer has to drop any charges on you if you manage to beat them in a fair Yu-Gi-Oh card duel. Yes! Yes, I challenge you to a duel, officer. I don't think you would use Yu-Gi-Oh, though. No, no, probably no, not. No, probably not. But I could. I have the cards for it. Yeah? Yeah, I used to collect that stuff. Do you have actual was... decks? I, yeah, I have one that was made by a, like, when I was around five-ish. Mm -hmm. um, we went out and there was a, when I lived in Oklahoma, of all places, there was a little strip mall. And in that mall was a store run by a professional Yu-Gi-Oh player. Oh, cool. Yeah, and, and we were able to just like, hey, can you make, can you make a, a functioning deck? He's like, yeah, sure. I, I still have it. I still have the functioning deck. So it sh by all means, it should work. I haven't used That's it in years. Sweet. Yeah, no. I think every other deck I ever had for Yu-Gi-Oh was just a bunch of cards I thought were cool that I just smashed together. <laughs> I can't blame you there. So, this mm. one looks neat. This one looks powerful. It probably wasn't. <laughs> so what this about one's you, Red? blue. I like the color blue. <laughs> the blue and this. Oh, wow. It must be so powerful. Oh, you know me. Okay, it's the second one. It's the second one. Yeah, it would one. be. It would be. Oh, shut up. <laughs> uh, I would punch you if I could. If you got to choose, how would you die? Oh. oh. <laughs> as a oh, poor Ted. Ted is very dead. <laughs> no, as a practical demonstration while giving a TED talk on how to die correctly. <laughs> How I die is irrelevant for it. Oh, it's irrelevant as long as I'm allowed to haunt my enemies for the rest of eternity. So true. <laughs> or death is a concept we invented to keep the commoners at check. <laughs> you know, honestly, I'd be so down to die if I could just haunt <laughs> my enemies. Make their, their lives hell. <laughs> what about you, huh? You want to go on a TED uh, Talk? I was... See, I was... <laughs> 
while you were choosing, I was really crossing my fingers that you weren't going to choose the TED Talk one, because that's what <laughs> I want. So yes, please. See, this is how you properly die. And just the yes. piano falls out of the ceiling and crushes you. <laughs> exactly, man. What would be the most appealing... What would be the most appealing in a love partner? A very soon day. 50 gigabytes of RAM. Ooh. <coughs> Anyway. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I'm gonna go. <laughs> you did that way too fast. Once Shut you up, saw, man. Shut up. <laughs> I'm never gonna not pick on you for that. Oh, um. you, you, you. <laughs> Fifty gigabytes of RAM is a lot of RAM. <laughs> Either. Hey, Nick Zian. Or the fur, cause soft. Mm. That is uh, fair. Lots of storage yeah, space or RAM. very cuddly? Ram. Ram? Ram. Yeah, so you can download like one whole AAA game. You could you could download Doom and that's <gasps> it. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Your partner just gave you wow, these is it just me or are there more questions in this one? Yeah, I felt like there were only like Yeah, I thought there were three like three. Before? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. Your partner gave you a cool gift for your anniversary, but you totally forgot. Quick, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Anything on fire <laughs> or a weapon? No, no, a weapon on fire. Oh, I like oh. that. I like that sound. Um, the head of their fiercest enemy. <laughs> <laughs> Anything capable of leading them to an overdose of some sort? But, <laughs> mm. um, uh, honestly, I would be so down for getting someone just like a toy that is like, hey, like. <laughs> Sp uh, sparky, <laughs> sparkly poopsy surprise dolls oh, or no. something. No, no, please. That's no so way. disgusting. Wait, Nixian, what's gonna be clipped? Nixian, wait, please. Oh <laughs> <laughs> Think of the children. No, please do this. Please. <laughs> please. I want that saved. No, <laughs> please. Wait. <laughs> um. Dude, weapons on fire though? I know, right? Yes. Uh, yeah, like fire sword? Oh. Uh, like is fire the question sword. the question is, does it start on fire? Like is it just perpetually on fire or do you light it on fire? Here's what I'm thinking, right? Here's what I'm thinking. Um, um, it's like it's got like a like a almost like a lightsaber, like it pushes mm, out. You know? Yeah, that's the way to go. And it's got a blade, but the blade's on fire, and so you can whoosh and then it goes whoosh. Ah, you know, then it just starts glowing, you know, bright orange. It just gets hotter. Ah, oh, yes. so cool. <laughs> oh, no, Damien, wait. <laughs> I'm coming for you. No way, please. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> I feel like we should explain our uh, fear of Damien a little bit. <laughs> I do we really? I mean, people have seen him. Oh, <laughs> it's yeah, Damien. I guess so. You don't like. You don't need a lot of context. Just seeing his like opening thing of him at the podium and lighting on fire. The fact that him getting interested in swords on fire. Like, there's a lot. <laughs> he really defines himself. Yeah, but the first time we played, we <laughs> he just. Oh right. <laughs> Yeah, I'm that. <laughs> and the first time, the first time I ever played the game, period. It wasn't on a video. It wasn't for a stream. I just played it with 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 a friend. <laughs> the first time, he, I think he killed me. I think he beat me to death. <laughs> Either that, or we just fought, and then I got unconscious. One of the two. It was not a great time for me. Um, oh God. Uh, that's not the right button. Oh. I guess I'm going outdoors. I didn't mean to press that. All right, this is fine. Ooh, that day during look recess. Yeah, look at me doing my little little dash, little little dash, dash. <laughs> touch, 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 pa. You have no idea how it escalated so much, but at least at one point there were like 300 people. You know, the back of, you know, behind the school. That's not a safety hazard. No, it's fine. Honestly. Yeah. Ah, the, the the nightmare demons are are back. It's just making the party oh. so much better. Well, yeah. Looking around for a distraction, you spot Scott proudly flexing while Zoe sits before him, frowning into her notebook. 
You figure she's trying to draw his ripped bod. So you offer her some so you offer to give her some drawing tips. Oh look at her! Look at her! Sweetie! Oh so cute! She's so cute! I can't do her voice. Oh. Oh god. Uh Man, this is this is that's a valid question. Yeah, like Scott is obvious. <laughs> yeah, what did she sound like? Uh, uh, man, uh, that's a good question. <laughs> just go, just go. You just you don't have time for this. <laughs> I'm thinking. Uh, drawing? What? I'm not drawing anything. I'm writing a fanfic about Scott's muscles. That's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> Closet creep. No. Who? What? <laughs> What? Nixie and who are you calling a closet creep? <laughs> what? You are? I thought I was just over here flexing for no reason, like usual. Well, I'm trying to write a fanfic, <laughs> but so far it's going slower than the first 20 issues of Snail Person Literature Club. I mean, I'd read that. That sounds pretty cool. <laughs> that sounds like a really good. Snails are cute! Yeah. I'd like to see what kind of adventures would snails write about? What kind of wild ah. escapades would a snail? I, I I do own and I played a single episode of like it's a it's a text-based adventure game <laughs> of sorts. It's it's the kind where you type in what you want to do and then it does it for the screen or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, it is te it's text-based, I guess would be the term. But it's literally about <laughs> snails in space. <laughs> It's a dumb game, but I need to play the rest of it really bad. <laughs> uh, you glance at Zoe's notebook. It looks like she's just copied it out. Online encyclopedia TM's <laughs> list of all the muscles. Ah. Uh, of course. Muscles. Oh, I can help. You know, Coach always says you can't spell muscles without the letter of <laughs> without the letters from adversity. Uh <laughs> what well, uh <laughs> What? Okay. You should have a bad guy who fights against all my good muscles. <laughs> That's been done already. <laughs> Ugh. It's like you haven't even read Scott versus the muscle hitting over. Ah, <laughs> uh, an instant uh, classic. Yeah. And it's exactly my problem. <laughs> then nobody reads your fanfics. What? No! <laughs> my problem is that I need to put an original spin on this fic. But my mind's more blank than the minds of all those cultists who thought I needed to put devour. Uh oh. Whose thoughts I used to devour. <laughs> she really has a history, huh? She really does. I respect that. Yeah. Well, have you thought about adding a bad guy who fights against all my good muscles? <laughs> this conversation is clearly going nowhere without your help. Quick, fix Zoe's fix. Um, Scott's right, the story needs an antagonist, and everyone knows that the true natural enemy of muscles is the leaf scale gulper shark. <laughs> Manly muscle Obviously. stories have been told, but how many have been told from the perspective <laughs> of the muscles? I don't like that. I... way too fleshy. No, 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 I really like that. I really <laughs> like that a lot. Um... 16 Jesums. There's the gluten your eye, pecs and prejudice, the fault in our sartorius, <gasps> full frontalis, hamstrung for you. Jesums. <laughs> yes, those sound great. They are great, Scott. They're the greatest. But they're about as original as making all of your muscles secretly give for each other. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and my muscles aren't secretly gay for each other. They're openly gay for each other. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> 21st century, baby. We're living in the future. It's the 21st century. Muscles can legally marry in most parts of the world. Most. We don't have time for your regressive politics, Bagel. What, what did oh, I do? What did I, I do? Oh, something. Huh? 
Oh, but she liked it. <laughs> I'm so confused. You don't know how you got pegs and opponent of muscle marriage, but the accusation sticks. Oh, no. I'm the fun guy. I'm Mushroom Boy. This is a gold mine. Fleshy. <laughs> Uh, I love this game, man. I love this game so much. It's oh, perfect. All right, where are you wanting to spend the day, Red? Take me to the gym. You going to the gym? I'm going to the gym. Oh, yeah. I think you're gonna. I think you're just gonna kill some dudes. I think you're just gonna play dodgeball and take someone's life. <laughs> Everything seems lost, but you deliver an inspirational speech that. Leading to a spectacular comeback, you're clearly a natural born leader. Plus two charm. Yeah, Very yeah. charming of you. Definitely a leader. Uh -huh. <laughs> Damien's got cal calculester backed into a corner, and things look heated. You know, you head over to see what's the matter. Oh gosh, not again. Oh. Quit holding out of me, butthole. <laughs> that's, that's a good one. <laughs> that's a good one. That's, yeah, that's very good. <laughs> I know you've got a secret weapon. Oh, uh... Oh, gosh. Uh... I know who the voice actor for this was, but I'm not able to- I'm not able to replicate the accent. Me neither. Um... You could just do, like, a very, very plain voice, then it's kind of, like, mildly robotic. Yeah, but, I mean, he- he... He has personality to him. I know, but, like, what? Time to whip out Google Translate, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Use that as my. <laughs> no, I got this. I'm a voice actor for for Pete's sake. <laughs> I'm good at improvising. You got this. <laughs> Damien, please. Not all robots have a secret weapon. Oh come on. <laughs> Bull crud. Even my dad's lawnmower has a secret weapon. Does it? Inconsistent yeah. information. Hell does not have lawns. <laughs> well, okay. It's really more of a tank than a lawnmower. And the weapons aren't so much secret as they are numerous. <laughs> hey, you're just trying to distract me by making me think about a rad tank. You're not getting off that easy. Show me your secret weapon! You'd better defuse the situation before it turns extremely violent. But will you defuse it by distracting Damien or revealing Cal's secret? Hmm. Uh, huh. <laughs> In the most hidden location, Portugal. <laughs> I like, I like computer boy. I don't want. I don't, hmm. <laughs> Look at his expression. Oh. 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 <laughs> uh, uh, the first, first one. First yeah, one. you're gonna tell uh, him about the location in Portugal. Sure, yes. Of course, Portugal. That's where basically everyone hides their secret weapons. Huh? You you learn you learn something new every day. Oh, I'll be right back. I'm gonna drive Dad's lawnmower over to Portugal and mess up some crud. Oh no, I'm sorry. Wait. <laughs> Wait. I thought the fun would be worse. I'm sorry. <laughs> no. How could you do this? I hid my top secret weapon in Portugal specifically to keep it out of wrong hands. I recently overheard Damien talking about getting the wrong hands tattooed on his actual hand. No, he would. He, he would. He definitely would. For the safety of the entire world, I must now regrettably detonate Portugal. Uh, I mean, if it's for the, if it's for the betterment of the world, really. Oh uh, yeah. I think Portugal fine. has it coming. <laughs> apparently, he's, it's okay. I did something good. Apparently. <laughs> Damien's back at school in a couple hours, bragging about how Portugal was so scared of him that it literally exploded. <laughs> you know the truth, though, and the truth hurts. It was too uh, fun in one boldness. Whatever, man. Ah, uh, uh, um, um. Uh, okay. I have one. Uh, I do too. Ready? Three. Uh, sure. Two, huh. two. One. One shot. One. Minecraft. Oh, one shot's good. Yeah. Player order just <laughs> miss <him No>. up. <laughs> no, no, neither of these. Nico, no. Nico, no. Nico, no. 
Can we move to Minecraft just to keep them pure? <laughs> Please. Here you go, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, realistically, realistically, yeah, by Portugal. <laughs> realistically, uh, Minecraft is already being used in a lot of <laughs> educational courses. That's true, that's true. Don't and they have that whole chemistry thing set up? No, yeah, no, they have Minecraft Education Edition. Like, it's legitimately... Uh a much more complicated much more boring version of minecraft but it's already well, being used for that so i mean let's so, go for it oh baby <laughs> there you go <laughs> oh god he's so small oh. all right where are you sitting oh mm. so many to pick from so many um <laughs> you, you have five bucks to spend at the shop no, no shop. I, I don't need no items. Um, throw me by computer, boy. Yeah. Yeah. Like Cal. Yeah. <laughs> Have I talked about how much I love the <laughs> the lunch lady behind the counter there? <laughs> <laughs> Just that is the epitome of all of all uh, in school lunch. <laughs> employees they're just just yeah. eat your food get out of line and eat your food there are already enough creepy minecraft videos yeah no <laughs> that, that we didn't want to say it but yeah oh, you're right next in yeah. uh ah, see i was right didn't even need to yeah no need to... it's already a thing people can already use it <laughs> apparently oh. <laughs> uh you're at your chosen table to find that miranda has locked one of her eating serfs in an iron maiden <laughs> you're unfazed <laughs> But Calculester is very phased. I love huh. his name. He's, it's so good. Friend Miranda, isn't locking your unpained intern in a spike-filled sarcophagus unethical? Unethical? <laughs> unethical. Adjective. Inconsistent with rules and standards of ethics. I love him. <laughs> I love him. I know, I know he's so good. Words. He could just help me. <laughs> I want to be his friend in He's a walking person. thesaurus. Yeah, so cool. <laughs> Ethics? Oh, you mean things poor people have instead of uh, royal titles. <laughs> yeah, yeah, those things. <laughs> but I thought that ethics were a critical part of being a good organic creature. <laughs> That's the problem with this conception. The key uh -oh. to being a good... <laughs> To being good, it's having a lot of money and punishing anyone who dares disrespect you. Oh, I should have known. I uh, foolish of me, really. Uh, <laughs> duh. <laughs> For example, this saucy sir dared to put ketchup on the hot dog <laughs> she was eating on my behalf. It's disgusting. I hate How ketchup. Dare she? <laughs> As if I were the sort of person to put ketchup on a hot dog. <laughs> 48 hours in the Iron Maiden shift teacher. I don't think she she's gonna last two. I don't think so. <laughs> All right, she must be friends with the King Henry the. Seriously, yeah. I'm, her family her family is apparently like canonically the. I don't remember the last her last name, but the her Miranda's family goes back centuries. Like, oh, it's a very very long and <laughs> intense bloodline. To the point where I'm sure she's probably related with King Henry VIII at some point in her life. <laughs> I'm sure it's somewhere along the line. Somewhere, somehow. Error, error. <laughs> oh, you, you killed him. No, Warning. Friend's statements are inconsistent with internal moral compass. Existential crisis imminent. Oh no. Dang, she must be inbred. What royalty isn't? Uh oh. Yeah, really. Quick, set Miranda straight or set calculator calculester crooked. Oh. What is what's this calculester? Disagreeing with Miranda? Looks like she looks like it's disrespectful prison time for someone else too. <laughs> no. Miranda, let's punish your surf in a different way. Say, by giving her a frowny face sticker with a really <laughs> aggressive glitter. <laughs> Dude, aggressive glitter's the worst. I think that I oh, glitter man. is disgusting. I think it's worse than an Iron Maiden. Realistically, yeah, yeah, no, definitely. <laughs> I completely agree. Like, there's, there's a reason that companies 
there, there's a genuine reason why companies are able to make money off of <laughs> off of selling like care packages to people you hate filled with gr spring loaded glitter. <laughs> Uh, it's, uh, uh, if I ever get one of those, I'm gonna find whoever sent it to me. I'm gonna track them down. I'm gonna track them down, and I'm gonna fill their car, their house, their lawn, and their dog with loose glitter. <laughs> I'm gonna track them down. I'm gonna hire a hitman. And he's gonna punch him in the stomach with a fistful of glitter. <laughs> No, no, like, seriously, jeez. <laughs> you monster! Oh, awful. <laughs> Even more delightfully cool than I am. And I am Maiden only torments for 48 hours, but glitter. Glitter is eternal. <laughs> <laughs> no way! No way! <laughs> Are you sure you haven't played before? <laughs> There's no way! There is no way! <laughs> oh, good go. Good words. I pro I've never played this. <laughs> Bagel equals Miranda confirmed. No, don't out me like this! <laughs> oh, no wonder you like her so much. Shut up! <laughs> Uh. Glitter is eternal. She will be reminded of her transgression until her dying day. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I see. Friend Miranda's ethics module is poorly calibrated. Oh, uh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> no. I feel no disrespect towards you, Miranda, because as a rule, I do not feel. <laughs> oh, wonderful! Would you like a job as one of my royal torture? Honestly? <laughs> no, thank you. I will, however, supply you with stickers if it ensures the surf's safety. Oh, I love him. <laughs> he's so he's so perfect. He's so good. <laughs> With the extra stickers left over from Calculester's first printing, you two start thriving. Punitive sticker put start a thriving punitive <gasps> sticker business. It's a bonding experience. I would. <clears throat> Next merch idea? <laughs> punitive stickers? Please. <laughs> Alright. Uh, all right. <laughs> hey, Damien. Uh, what are you doing to yourself? I'm getting myself killed. <laughs> You sit with Zoe and Damien. Damien seems angry, what's new, but in a low energy oh. way, which is very weird for him. Oh, yeah. You feel the urge to check. No, I'd rather not. <laughs> what is that? What is that insult? I've never. Maybe he just really doesn't like he's, mice. He's really creative, or he really likes mice. Uh, he ooh. really <laughs> likes mice. He really, really <laughs> likes mice. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> Don't talk to me, heck mice. I have a cold and I feel like Oh, wait. I have a cold and I feel like crud and I just want to drink my soup and murder someone. Oh, what's that adorable little cup you're drinking from? <laughs> what? This cup is not adorable. It's a trophy that I took from a super buff dude after I killed him. But it says number one son of all hell on it. I killed I killed him. I killed the number one son of hell. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe the buff dude was the, the number one son of hell before I killed him and took his soup and mug. Shut up. Don't look at me. Mm, okay. <laughs> well, if you have no sentimental attachment to it, I guess you'd sell it to me for... <laughs> Oh, I of money. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> like you, like you have that much money. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> I was an Eldritch deity devouring souls for centuries. You think I never took their swag along the way? <laughs> Give me the cup. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
No, it's my, it's my number one son of all hell bug, and you can't have it. Get away from it with your tentacles in your mouth and your invasive questions. <laughs> Why? Why? Why should I get away? Why? <laughs> <laughs> you go on like this all lunch. Maybe if you jump in, you can curry favor with one of them. Okay, wait. <clears throat> I love their dynamic that they have so far. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> Whatever it is, I dig it. <laughs> I'm, you know, I came in here hoping to get absolutely just ganked by Damien, and so that's what I'm gonna commit to. <gasps> I'm, gonna, no I'm, gonna, I'm gonna taunt him. <laughs> oh, I'm picking up what you're putting down, Bagel. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. Damien is oh, a pretty no. lousy I'm demon. Died. <laughs> what? No, I'm not. No, I heard that you were. I heard that your dads don't even like you. <laughs> oh, oh god, what oh, you do? No. Oh no. You know, I think I started this, but she's gonna get the she's gonna get killed. Oh, or both of you maybe. No, that that's a lie. My dads love me. My dads love me so fucking much. My dads love me so much that they had dwarven slaves in the sixth circle of the circle of hell forward me this number one son of a hell cup. They gave it to me because they think I'm the number one son of all hell, and I'll treasure it forever. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it would have driven me absolutely insane not to know whether it was his cup or not. <laughs> She's evil. She's evil, and I love it. <laughs> oh. I love when we get to see a glimpse into Damien's soft side. Oh my gosh, do I have a trend for going after the genocidal characters in this? <laughs> the, the genocidal girls? It's starting to seem the, like it. The GGs, the genocidal girls. <laughs> and hopefully you'll get a glimpse of Zoe's soft side on prom, on prom night. Yeah, no, wait, that sounded so skeezy. Uh, I, I, take, I take it back. Pretend I said something nice about our favorite Eldritch Cutie Pie instead. She really is. Oh, I like her outfit. You know what I, I want? Wear. All right, what? all right, hear me out. Okay, listening. Who needs who needs an Eldritch Cutie Pie or or a Son of Hell or even even a big buff werewolf bro? Huh? Why we don't need any of those. What we need? I I want to date the narrator. Really? I want to date the narrator. But you don't even know what it looks like. <clears throat> exactly. It's all personality. It's all that matters. Uh, you know, good place. <laughs> <laughs> Trade places. Everybody chooses a historical figure. Say your choice. Oh. Uh, well, well, hang on, hang on. What are we defining as a historical character here? What do we Dude, say as a historical I don't know character? Any history. You <laughs> might as well just take it. It is not worth the brain energy. I mean, think presidents, founding fathers. I don't know. So I guess I have one in mind. Like ten minutes. You got this. No, I believe in you. Go. You shouldn't. Just go. I believe in you. Why? I'm not stealing this. Steal it. No. Do it. Take it. Please. Spare me. What y'all do, British monarchs? Uh. <laughs> you could name a queen. <laughs> or a king. I think I know this. Queen Elizabeth. King Henry. <laughs> See, but now it's not fair because you just said them already. Do you know of any of the presidents? I... Any of the U.S. presidents? Name one. Name one U.S. president. I... Come on, Red. <laughs> okay. Ready? Sure. Three, two, one. Vladimir Washington. Putin. <laughs> <laughs> Obama is historical now. I mean, technically, yeah. Yeah, I he would be. So. Picture this, five years ago, the historical figures time traveled to our times. The only <laughs> the only reason they were brought to our time was to produce Naruto AMVs. Uh -huh. Player orders based on who would produce the most emotional, heartbreaking, epic Naruto AMVs. Hmm. Vladimir Putin or George Washington. Okay, I... Mm. <laughs> <laughs> this... <laughs> Um, <laughs> this is such an odd. <laughs> yeah. Alright, good yeah. job. 
Let's move it up from there. Let's do this. Let's go. All right. Um, I like the music. Music? Cool tunes. Yeah, no, the music is... It's very, very... I think we've talked about this before. It's like very surfer vibe. Yeah! So it's not super fitting, but it's fitting, you know? Yeah. If that makes yeah. sense. Yeah. It's it's like it's like cool kid vibes. Which yeah. I think is cool yeah. 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 Um, take me to the library. Nerd. Yeah. <laughs> ah, you're playing boom. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> you're you're managing your start kicker for boom. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> that day you spent some time in the library's PC managing your start kicker. Hmm. You said lots of people with with a sensationalist video and impossible promises. Nice. You gain <laughs> one hundred thousand money, but uh, everything goes to cover the cost, and you keep two 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 monies. Uh, it's not many. Not many monies. Yeah, you, you got it's this. Two more than before. You can afford like half a chocolate bar. Hey, that's not bad. You're checking out some plates of pasta on your dating app for people who are so lonely that they're starting to consider dating a plate of pasta. Huh? Luckily, Calculester interrupts you before you keep spiraling down like that. <laughs> Thanks, Calculester. <laughs> Thanks, man. Thanks, Cal. Big preach. Preach for Cal in the chat. <laughs> there you are, Red. <laughs> nice, nice shirt, man. I appreciate <laughs> I was about to engage a complex plotline protocol, but I was worried I might fail at it. And then it came to my mind. Red is proficient at shenanigans. <laughs> yes, that is that is accurate. I can yes. I can confirm. Hey. <laughs> so I thought that if you were okay with helping me, it would be cool. You tell yeah, Calculester dude. that you're in. You also tell him there was no need to use air quotes for cool. Mm. <laughs> Whoa, I'm already learning stuff. Exciting. So, here's the thing. So far, I've been enjoying being alive, but recently, I've started to question myself. Am I doing life right? Am I good at living? Oh. I do not know. All of this is so new to me, I might be doing it all wrong. So, I wanted to consult some expert living organic forms, so I can crack the correct formula of existence. Oh. He reminds me a lot of, um, I don't know if you know him very well, or if anybody in the chat will know him very well, but, uh, Pathfinder from Apex Legends. She's like, mm. let's go, friends. <laughs> Just referring yeah. to everybody's friends. I'm sorry, friend. There can be only I, one winner. I love, I love robot voice. <laughs> I love them. Like, I love them. Like very, um... Just pure robot boys that are just there to learn and be friendly. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Yikes. <laughs> oh, don't make that face. I'm not consulting you, my friend. My data shows you tend to answer questions based solely on how likely the answer will lead to you dating your classmates. Oh, no. 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 It is valid to me, but useless for this endeavor. But my data shows you excel at wacky misadventures. <laughs> I think I've said that exact phrase this same live stream. <laughs> so, you might prove to be a worthy partner for this. But no, I thought the best course of action would be consulting the second be the two be consulting the two organic life forms organic living life forms that were key to turning me into a sentient being. If they push me into life, they surely have they surely have to be plenty wise. Look, there they are now. Oh, oh no. No, wait. Buddy. Two spectrum voices. <laughs> What's up, Cal? Hey, friend Scott and friend Damien, he is Pathfinder. <laughs> I'm trying to solve the dilemma of finding the meaning of existence. And since you brought me to existence, I thought you might know. Heck yeah, we know. Do we? Yeah, Scott. <laughs> so being alive is like being this orange. <laughs> Wait, where are you going with produces, this, man? Produces like a grapefruit. <laughs> <laughs> Damien pulls a slightly squished orange out of his pocket. <laughs> oh, yeah. I need it to be, like, the best orange ever. Ever? <laughs> mm. As long as you're not a lame banana. 
Ah, stupid bananas. Ah, they just make me so. Ah. And then he erupts into flames, and everything burns down, and end game. <laughs> the school is school is reduced to that just smoldering rubble. Watch game will be watch bagel be a secret game dev or something. I uh uh. Uh, so, you need to win the game of life, but while well, being an orange. You remember not- and remember not to be a banana, Cal. Also, I think it's very important to be super high on vitamin C if you want to rock at being an orange. I mean... He's not I wrong. Guess? If you want to be- if you want to be a good orange, you gotta have that vitamin C. Yeah. That way, you could be the best orange ever. Ooh. Yes, yes! You can also bring destruction to all the other puny fruits. <laughs> I am uh, honestly having a hard time following your line of thoughts, my friends. Can't blame them, me too. That's because you don't follow us. You need to follow the orange, or you're supposed to be the orange. Uh, uh, this is clearly <laughs> going nowhere. And these two are not the best at metaphors. It's apparently up to you to lead them into building a valid life lesson. But how? Oh, let's see. We're talking a lot about what this orange is supposed to do or to be. We asked what the, <laughs> asked the, <laughs> the orange feels. <laughs> Eat the orange. Okay, so... I mean, we've already established you know, that Cal can't feel. That's true. So trying to that's trying true. to tell him to be the orange, but also tell him to feel it, even though he can't feel it, it's like kind of conflicting messages there. But mm. I feel like eating the orange is going to upset... <laughs> Someone. <laughs> I just imagine, I... I imagine Damien producing this slightly squished orange. He's like presenting it all. Look at this orange. You need to be like this orange. This orange is the ideal form of humanity. And you just like <laughs> joink it from his hand, look at it for a second, and just swallow it whole. Just... <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> it's already squished. It'll go down fine. Unless you'd rather just like, <laughs> you just pluck it from his hand, squat down on the ground, all hunched over like a hobgoblin, and just. <laughs> Please. <laughs> yes. And you just look up at them. <laughs> Draw, like. Hiss. <laughs> you like audibly hiss. <laughs> like orange juice just flies everywhere. I have to eat the orange. <laughs> After that. I have to. <laughs> Not so um, bold. What are you talking about? You stole an orange from Damien. About... Yeah. You eat the orange. <gasps> no! Why did you do that? I was hungry. No idea. You didn't think this plan through, to, to be honest. Is it some kind of metaphor? Mm, Does it mean life yeah. bears no meaning for you, friend Red? <laughs> oh. Uh, oh. I just like oranges, dude. They taste oh. pretty good. Do you think? Do you think you're cool for being a nihilistic mother hugger? <laughs> for your for, for your information, life rocks, you idiot. It's full of super awesome things like arson, or crimes, or arson. Got a long list there, buddy. Those are objectively not nice things, friend Damien. But you make a point. Oh. Uh. Moreover, Red, your action goes against my objective of determining the meaning of existence. The only conclusion of this outcome is that you are a very bad friend. Oh, oh Cal, please, wait. Oh. Buddy. Whoa, that is the worst outcome I... ever. <laughs> no kidding. You're always thinking about your stats or what option might lead you to some prom sex, but... But you've forgotten, and then the ultimate goal here is being nice to your friends. I just ate Jeez. An Jeez. I just ate an God. Shame on you, Rest. I'm just losing things. All I've done is lose things and gain like two pennies. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> wow, this DLC really, really <laughs> punishes you. I'm gonna go to class. I'm just, you know, I'm just. I'm, I'm never eating oranges again. <laughs> Boycott oranges. They hurt my friendships. 
That day, you listen to your elders and learn valuable lessons. Sometimes, after all the monster nonsense and the dating gimmicks, you forget that attending class is supposed to be the primary activity at this high school. You gain plus two smarts. Ooh, brain Look at me, I'm getting so smart. <laughs> another day of class, another seemingly arbitrary group project given by Miss the Loch Ness Monster. <laughs> oh! Oh, her shirt! I know, I knew you were gonna point that out. So good! It looks like it looks like Mew Mew Kissy Cutie. Yeah. <laughs> oh. What did I do with Vera? Voice? Vera yeah. is like one hundred percent done with everything. Mm hmm Businesswoman, kind of strong, independent Gorgon that don't need no man. Oh. <laughs> 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 I'm just very, very angry all the time. Oh yeah, no. And tired. No, like she would definitely kill you if she saw you as a threat, but not in the same way Miranda would. Probably through like poisoning you or sending an assassin. Mm -hmm. And see, and see. Well, see, I don't think. I think she would do it herself, but she'd be like super clean about it. Damien would do it himself, but he would make an absolute mess of everything. Damien, yeah, no, Damien would make sure everyone knew it was him, and Miranda would make it a public execution. Yeah, yeah. Scott would probably then, accidentally crush you to death with a hug. And then cry. And then, and then cry. get distracted after two seconds of crying. Yeah, no, and like, forget what was happening. You hear, like, a squirrel in a nearby tree or something. Yeah. Oh, mm. Before I get distracted, yes, yeah, what's up? her voice. Ah, yes. <laughs> Upgrade calculus, -er. What is every other group doing for this assignment? <laughs> He's our only robo classmate. He, God. She, she has a point. She has a point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Besides, calculus -er is absolutely perfect as he is. Yeah. It's yeah. them. Them's facts. Them's facts. <laughs> Error! Factual inaccuracy! I have multiple bugs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Having bugs doesn't make you any less perfect. Swarms of flesh-eating beetles often follow in my dreadful wake. And I'm still crazy hot. Darn right. <laughs> hey! <laughs> <laughs> She's so... Uh... <laughs> I too sometimes become crazy hot. It is called overheating, and it is yet another problem with my physical form. Oh. <laughs> hey, girly. Uh... Ah, I can relate to her now. <laughs> Read the line. <laughs> Just let me improve your self esteem, Michael. <laughs> Keep that in mind, Red. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> hooray! Body positivity, haha. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I get where you're coming from, Zoe. Is it Zoe or Zoe? Zoe, probably. Zoe? Okay. Because I've seen it written that way and people pronounce it differently. Really? Who's. Yeah. Like, does, is anybody actually. Sp who. Uh, I, I've, I've... I've never seen somebody named. Well, their name written out that way and be pronounced Zoe. I have. Really? Yeah, it's like two people at school. Jeez. Freaks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Weirdo. Little <laughs> boys are losers. Look, I get where you're coming from, Zoe. And calculus is good as it is, but our grades won't be unless we buckle down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> buckling down is what you're best at. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> Other than guessing which classmate would like, would like what response. They are really self aware here, huh? Yeah, I kind of dig it. Yeah, no. But now isn't the time for that. We should improve him as an individual by improving the only traits that matter in life smarts, <laughs> charm, creativity, boldness, and fun. We just have to remove, we have, just have to rename him Calculester X. Triple his price and offer him in shiny new colors with bigger screen. Bigger screen. That. Yeah. Yeah. Take I the mean... iPhone model approach. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. My niece is is written Zoe, but I, I don't oh. understand why 
Why Zoe would bring us is Zoe. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. I guess from a gr grammatical standpoint, Z O E, it would it length the E would lengthen the O and make it Zo. Realistic. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. And so the Y would make it Zo A Zoe. All right. Mm -hmm. So from a grammatical standpoint, but then again, but then again, this is English we're talking about. Yeah, nothing makes sense. <laughs> We we merge so many so many different languages with our own. We have standardized words like buffet. Mm -hmm. okay, that makes no sense. <laughs> uh, so do you want to go with the iPhone approach, or do you want to make him a good? <laughs> this is your move. Is it? Oh right, it's mine. Oh. Yeah. Jesus. So what do you want to do? Oh, uh, that's a good question. Don't change him, he's perfect. I hate iPhones. <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course. Immersing myself in completely spooky high, I've quickly come to realize that traits like honor, nobility, empathy, and logic have no place here. None. <laughs> Nothing. Yeah, I mean, we're... I mean, this is the 21st century. Have you read... Have you seen the news? Clearly, those aren't those aren't <laughs> relevant here either. <laughs> oh, boy, oh, void girl, void girl. Oh, Bagel called it copulester. Let's farm those stats. Oh, well, we're already in class, so that's one smarts for calculester, right? <laughs> All you have to do is finish this assignment, <laughs> which we'll do by. <laughs> Which we'll do by getting him one smarts. Booyah! <laughs> Next time we should get some creativity. Of all the people to say booyah. And uh, I tried to make it as muted and like, No, yeah. <laughs> Although it would be either her, because she's she probably doesn't have the same like modern lexicon. <laughs> or I could definitely see Polly saying booyah in a mm -hmm. very enthusiastic tone. I could see Scott saying it if he was like with. Oh like, yeah, no. Polly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just copy. I don't think. He, I don't think he'd say it on his own, but I think if he heard it, he'd be like, "Oh, ex noises." Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> She'd be a middle-aged mom. Yeah. <laughs> Says Nixian. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If anyone would be a middle-aged, yeah, it's yeah. <laughs> oh, you guys talk so much. You should. Talk less. I had to do um, three characters. <laughs> Chill. Fine, fine, whatever. <laughs> but I'm, uh, you know, whatever, whatever, mm. whatever. <laughs> so how do you get by that creativity? But well, by rehearsing it for a play in the auditorium, and then we can get some boldness in the back. But don't do that. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What? Why would you get boldness from going to the bathroom? That makes no sense. <laughs> At least she's... She really is the voice of reason here. Yeah. Logic dictates that it requires absolutely no boldness for carbon-based life forms to fulfill a basic biological functions. Yeah, that's what I was saying. <laughs> However, fulfilling those same biological functions as a non-living entity requires a great deal of boldness. Oh, does he have to learn how to poop? <laughs> <laughs> I guess, since he doesn't have... Go <laughs> <laughs> to the bathroom. Go <laughs> to the bathroom. We scamper off to the toilet zone where Calculuster takes the boldest artificial dump you've ever seen. <laughs> oh, I stand corrected. You tally up your results, and it turns out that you've collected two smarts, two creativity, and two boldness. Let's go! Really making up for you it. You have. Did you did you poop with him? <laughs> Shut up. Someone had to teach him. <laughs> the girls the girls had to stay outside of the bathroom. Like, ugh. <laughs> you, you all split the proceeds, and you end up with plus two smarts and plus one creativity, because math isn't a stat at state at this high school. <laughs> Man, I wish. Oh. That weekend. Oh. 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 Alright. 
You're engaged. <laughs> You're engaged in your usual weekend routine and watching fish have sex at the aquarium when you run into Calculester. <laughs> Shut up. It's 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 for biology. Okay. Hello, friend Bagel. I was just attempting to gain insight into the courtship rituals of organic life forms. What about you? Same. <laughs> you say awkwardly. You don't want anyone knowing that you spend all your weekends watching fish heck. <laughs> Well, <laughs> it's for science, I swear. Hey, hey, but I like the ending of this sentence. Um, <laughs> yeah, please you would. be nice to me. Well, designate this chance meeting fortuitous. You see, I am currently running a romantic subroutine with your friend, Red. Hey, buddy. Things appear to be going well, but I am experiencing what I believe may be doubts. <laughs> I do not wish... To waste processing cycles on an unproductive unit. <laughs> Say. <laughs> Therefore, I must ask, is Red open to copulating with a mechanical life form? <laughs> oh. Bagel, please. <laughs> you say. You want to know if Red is down to heck a robot? Well, let me tell you. <laughs> when... <laughs> One time I went out of Red's house unannounced and found her with a vacuum cleaner with Google eyes and a wig and well let's just say your answer to your question is yes. <laughs> <laughs> have, you, have you noticed Red's cool haircut? Yeah. She got it from a leprechaun in exchange for promising to never heck any robots ever. <laughs> Bagel, please. <laughs> How well, how well do I know you? <laughs> how well do I know? How well do I know Red? Would she hack a robot? You know what? I'm not gonna say anything. Do what you want for yeah, this. Yeah, she would. <laughs> <laughs> I believe I know that vacuum cleaner. <laughs> Curly blonde oh, wig, wait. googly eyes one inch in diameter. Yes, that is Vicky. Yum. Vicky Yum? Oh. Vicky Yum, Vicky Yum, Vacuum. <laughs> she informed me recently that a certain bio organic life form had rocked her world, but would not <laughs> divulge the name of her of said paramour. I believe she was worried I would steal her conquest, but now I know. It was red. <laughs> Suck it, Vicky. <laughs> the pun was totally lost on Calculester, but he's too busy being born. <laughs> His expression, he read his expression. <laughs> he rushes off to find Red, and you gain plus three fun for your good deed. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. This game, I love it. I love this I love game. This game is amazing. Uh, everybody <laughs> chooses a part of their body. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. Alright, luckily for you, I know body parts better than I know history. So. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Nostrils. Toes. Toes. Oh, nostrils. Oh. Yeah, we know you wouldn't need another human being, but provided you are forced to do so, player order is decided based on which part of the body you... Okay, listen. <laughs> listen. Just take the box. <laughs> Just take the box. <laughs> Let's do this. Not the box. You don't eat the snot lockers. <laughs> you eat from the box. I'm gonna. Oh, where do I want to go? Mm. I want to continue with Cal, but also I kind of want to like explore a little bit. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, there's a there's a decent amount of time left in the game. Yeah, no, it's week two of four. Yeah, yeah. I go outdoors. I go outdoors. Yeah, go gonna party. go to a rave. That is a That's good dress true. on her. Oh yeah, it is. 
That day during recess, you start a half-hour rave that goes full crazy. You're talking to Juan, the magical, the small magical Latino cat, when he tells you that you won't ever be as fun as Bob the Scary, Cro scary Clown. You accept the challenge. You. you go straight up to Bob, stab him several times, open his bleeding chest, and eat some of his guts in order to consume his fun. Really? Do you think that's how this works? Well, it, it is. You gain plus two fun from poor Bob. Ooh, Good job. Baby, baby. <laughs> Shank him. <Hey! laughs> Just like walk up to Bob. He's you know he's minding his own business. He's having a good time dancing. He's like, wow, man, these guys all I love them. You know I spook them sometimes, <laughs> but honestly we're just having a great time. My kids back at home are having a great. Oh. You just walk up, give me your fun. You pull a knife from nowhere and you start shanking him. I'll be taking. No, this. Give me your fun. <laughs> just like the orange. <laughs> That's my pastime. I just eat things. <laughs> you see Calculus are standing apart from the rave, trembling and shaking as though have though malfunctioning. Oh, buddy. Hello, Red. I am not malfunctioning at all. I am merely attempting to dance. Oh. But my attempts are not going well. I only know two dances, the robot and the robo boogie. Oh. In my quest to acquire all organic life form knowledge, I wish to learn new dances, but it would seem my programming is not conductive to it. Oh. I feel that I have started to understand feelings. Oh. As evidenced by the fact I began the previous sentence with I feel. But I could but it could be that dance is beyond my feelings? You remind oh. Calculusor that when emotion is too great for people to speak, they sing. Too great to sing, they dance. So he, yeah, he's correct. Yeah, you know what? They've got a point. Yeah, no. You've got a point. You said that. I've got a point. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that was me. I said that thing. Yes, definitely. As the song says, are we robot or are we dancer? In order to truly be alive, I must learn to dance. Will you help me, Red? Of course. <laughs> Heck yeah, you will. How else will you dance with Calculus at prom? <laughs> Exactly. Yeah, no, I mean, you gotta teach them. You know what you teach them now could go mm -hmm. and go to your. It could go to your children. Mhm. Mm could go mm -hmm. on to your children because everybody knows the person you spend with that time at prom is who you marry. Definitely. Yes. <laughs> but you're no dancer. You spend all your rehearsal time worrying about dodgeball and your dodgeball time worrying about playing poker in the library. Better recruit a friend to help you. To help. You help Calculus to learn the true meaning of life through ah, dance. <laughs> Barbara to take us to the heart of voguing, convince Liam to return to his K-pop phase. Uh, I feel like I feel like Liam would be a lot easier for this one. Yeah. Like I feel like it's gonna be way. I don't know. I don't feel like there's gonna be a lot of convincing needed. Plus, it's more of a rave and more of a prom dancing as K-pop, less than voguing. Yeah. Yeah. Second one, then. Liam, as in fellow spooky high classmate Liam de Lioncourt? No. That's the one. Liam from across the, the street. Yes, Liam of the Lioncourt from high school. <laughs> one of our six most charismatic spooky. <laughs> Spooky high classmates and sought after prom date Liam DeLioncourt. K pop? K pop! <laughs> Shh! I have no idea what you're talking about. Ah, oh, we've summoned him. <laughs> I would never involve myself with so, with so mainstream a subculture as K pop. But, friend Liam, if K pop is a subculture, how can it be mainstream? <laughs> I. Well, people have heard of it. So that makes it mainstream enough for me to have forsaken it completely. If I oh. ever was involved in a hair straightening, airline, eyeliner wearing, music making sensation, <laughs> which I was not. From what I have learned of culture, it seems that many monsters are embarrassed of phases they've gone through and attempt to hide their pasts from the world. See? It, so it's perfectly normal. Which would make it abandonment and concealment of past K-pop phase. <gasps> mainstream! <laughs> 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 but perhaps this has all been an elaborate ruse, and deep down you never truly abandoned K-pop at all, and have been subverting the trope of shame, then, then that would be the most subversive and niche phase of all. You're right. The real K-pop was inside me all along. I knew it. In fact, my entire life was actually, has actually been a very artistic 
a, a esoteric slow motion K-pop performance, and no one was ever smart enough to get it. <sighs> it was so performance, so underground that even I was unaware I was giving it. Thank you for enlightening me. Whew. Good thing you awakened Liam to the truth of his continued K-pop existence. He teaches you and Calculester some sweet, sweet moves. Hopefully Ooh. you and Calculester will be K-pop, K-popping, and K-locking. <laughs> Although the dance floor from, you get plus three creativity. Good job. Hey. I'm gonna go back here. Oh, Look at me. <laughs> that day you skip class just to hang out in the bathrooms because you respect no authority. <laughs> yeah, heck the teachers, heck the establishment. Oh, goodness me. I guess some people just want to watch the world burn by skipping class and hanging out in the bathrooms. Anyway. I think by some people, they mean Damien. <laughs> yeah. You give zero hacks, but you gain plus two boldness. That's me. <laughs> You're going to help Zoe with her math homework after, but you notice... You notice her surrounded with, <laughs> by a crowd of sinister cloaked figures. She seems upset about it. Fine, <laughs> stop it. I don't want any dead goats. I'm at school. <laughs> we must commence the rituals. <laughs> <laughs> you want to try and do that voice? Because I am nowhere near that range. <laughs> sure, I can try that. <laughs> uh, we understand you perfectly, Lord Zagord. This is a test. We must bring you even more dead goats to satisfy your dark hunger. <laughs> what? No, that's the opposite of what I said. C guys, I... And I don't go by Z Gord <laughs> Zagord. I'm Zoe, okay? Zoe. <laughs> Can we take a rain check on that study session? Bagel? I can't stand to be around <laughs> Zoe brushes past you on her way out. Cultists stare at you with their unconcealed awe. Well, okay, it's concealed by their terrifying masks, but but still. All hail Zagord. <laughs> Zagord addressed you by name, and you did not go mad with pleasure. Uh, it addressed <laughs> it. <laughs> it, it, it. It addressed you almost as if you were a zini. Uh, then I had a stroke. <laughs> The Zagord stroke gave me a stroke. <laughs> it addressed you almost as if you were an equal, and it passed within inches of your frail mortal frame. And what's more, it mentioned rain. Could it be that it was referring to the fabled storm of cere cerebrospinal fluid, which will one day come to quench all sa sanity? Oh, Brothers, God. sisters, <laughs> bow down before Bagel. For he is clearly the prophet of Zagord. Please, O oh prophet, guide our worship. For we have noticed of late that our lord appears dissatisfied with our sacrifices. The blood of many goats once pleased Zagord, yet they now. Ah, my throat. Oh, we can do this. I uh, believe in you. Drink some water. I don't have any more. What? Oh. You do not understand what has changed. That's, that's, it's... It's pretty obvious she just kind of grew out of the phase. I mean, mm -hmm. we all have things that we just regret doing. She might just regret being a centuries-old uh, sleeping deity. Yeah. Perhaps, given your special relationship with our incomprehensible master, you could suggest a new sort of sacrifice that we that would please it. Ah, oh, heck it. You've got nothing better to do. You mm -hmm. decide to be a prophet for the day. You tell them what they should really be sacrificing is... It's important to learn from right. your snakes, so sacrifice another goat, but right, we're sorry on the side. <laughs> sacrifice your own harmful <laughs> prejudices. You know, even if Zoe doesn't like it, because I have a feeling this is not the way to get with Zoe, even if Zoe doesn't like it, I I want to improve them as people, you know? I want to make yeah. them feel better about themselves. So That's fair. Blasphemous. So blasphemous. <laughs> but <laughs> our harmful prejudices are precious to us. They're how we remain reliably unpleasant, the better to please Zagord. Maybe that's how it was with Zagord, but you explained that Zoe's got an entirely different set of standards that don't involve being a bigot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah, Fair point. your wisdom truly is subtle and deep. Very well, bring out the prejudices. <laughs> <laughs> One of the cultists stepped forward with a steel-banded box stained with blood and scorched by fire. 
You're not surely exactly what's inside, but it smells pretty racist. <laughs> <laughs> no. Bring out the vat of acid we always carry around. <laughs> I don't even need to add anything to that. Nope. <laughs> you know, just looking along. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ah, imagine. <laughs> you know how, do you remember in like preschool whenever there was like a chore chart and everybody was assigned a specific chore around the, uh, the yeah. classroom to do? Yeah. <laughs> imagine having like a chore chart for the cultists. <laughs> Like, oh, this is the one that collects the goats. This is the one that carries the acid. Oh, and you, Todd, today you get to carry the prejudice box. Wow. <laughs> that would be hilarious. But the goat was sorry on the side. I know. Tempting as it was, I, I need to make sure that these people improve upon themselves. You know, really go out in the world and be better people. Hmm. Where were they keeping all this stuff? Th those robes must be really roomy. They just, they have no legs. They're legless. They're just very No. Hard. Dissolve the prejudices in acid. Go on. Do it. The box is, the box dissolves with a sound like a thousand grandmothers disapproving of your gender identity. <laughs> oh, we're suddenly unprotected from new and radical ideas. The revelations are flooding in. Watch, the, watch their prejudices, prejudices be against racism. No, wait. <laughs> could, it have been, could it be that we have been jerks? Alas. Possibly. <laughs> now they're 100 times more racist. No. No. Wait. Alas, it is true. And it is true that also, also that our Lord demands from us one further sacrifice. Uh, oh, okay. For a second there, I was like, uh... It is the greatest sacrifice of all. We must sacrifice the past. No, wait. <laughs> the, in the, uh, the name Zagord is gone. Perish along with the dark timeline that gave it birth. Here and now, we rededicate ourselves to the new cult. The cult of Zoe. Yeah. Well, that well, that worked way better than you, you expected. Good, good on you. But yeah. maybe you could dissolve the prejudices of other bigots in acid too. Or maybe you could yeah. just dissolve the bigots in acid. Either way, you gain plus two charm and one boldness. You know, there are so many ways to resolve issues. Not the least of which being murder. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 I can do this. Is pretty fun. Oh, very. Best way to guess. I had a stroke. <laughs> Best way to get rid of bodies. <laughs> Everybody chooses an object, say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. Okay. Oh, choices, choices. Uh. Got it. I'm gonna They're gonna start. Gonna start harassing. No way. <laughs> um. All right. Choose an object. Uh. All right. Ready? Okay. Yeah. Three, two, one. Beyblades. What? Oh, you're so nerdy. Shut up. <laughs> it's my childhood. It's my childhood. <laughs> you're talking about. Oh, There's you were a nerd from birth. Shut up. Player order side based on how cool the next indie sensation, Blank Knight, would be. Where the hero's main weapon is a selected object. Start debating now. Yarn! Yarn! Okay, so this is a reference to Shovel Knight. Yes. <laughs> so that's what immediately comes to mind. Yarn Knight would be pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Kirby's Epic Yarn was a whole thing, and yeah. that was very fun. Yeah. I mean, I've seen lots of, uh... <laughs> Yarn ideas like someone someone wrote about a, uh, a concept for a comic series it was like about a, a crime-fighting grandmother and her sidekick who's oh. just like trying to take care of her oh. so it's not a bad concept but beyblade night <laughs> that just sounds outdated like it sounds like it would have been a long a thing but not it, the next indie sensation i mean it's still they still produce Beyblades. Yeah, but that's that's not like I don't know. All right, I'll say this. I'll say this. Uh, uh. Yarn Knight fits better for a game title, but I would probably like Beyblade Knight more. Yeah, definitely. But I would like Yarn Knight more. Mm -hmm. Using like a whip. Let's do this. Yeah. yeah. Or, oh, you could, like, knit, and you could, like, create, like, 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 uh, minions. <laughs> Stuffed bunnies. Well, 
You could <laughs> throw yarn balls as weapons. Yeah. <laughs> it's your projectile weapon. My nephew and little brother play with Beyblades. I hope he doesn't turn out to be a heathen. <laughs> <laughs> Beyblades are really big among kids right now. Are they? Really? Like, I know they're still a thing. I know they still produce them, and they still have a TV show, and they're just rebranding it all the time. So it's not the same, but like, I know it's still being. Who on earth? Who is this? Who is that? I know the girl is like a vampire squad. Yeah. I mean, he also looks like a vampire, but like yeah, still very. a typical vampire. Or an elf. Or an elf. Well, yeah, I'll, I'll sit over there to find out who that is. Yeah, yeah. If you were yeah. gonna, if you weren't gonna do that, I was gonna, I was gonna probably choose him. Yeah, I'll find out. Good lord! All you want to do is eat in peace, and yet. Ah. Uh... Really, you're gonna save the world? You look <laughs> like you're gonna do the opposite. I've gotta say. I mean, it's a group of emo-looking chicks. I don't think emo goth. Goth is the word I was looking for. They look like goth chicks. There's yeah. no way they're gonna save the world. Oh it yeah, no. It. <laughs> Beyblades are really big. Uh, they're yeah, Beyblades are still really big. Thirty bucks per blade. They were they were about that expensive when I got into them. Jeez, they, well, I didn't it's an expensive that. toy. <laughs> but <laughs> I think the big difference is, at least from what I've noticed, from what I know, I guess now. Mm -hmm. Back whenever I played with Beyblades, they were metal. Like it was um, mm, metal fusion was the subset. Yeah. Um, and so like they were. From what I, from what I remember, hardier. Like, I still have them, and they're still in preem condition. Mm. Um, but nowadays, they're designed to like break apart if they hit things, as like a gimmick. I don't know. I I feel like thirty bucks spent on those back then is more worthwhile than spending them on now. They are now. I also feel like that's how it is with a lot of toys mm -hmm. in general that have lasted that long. Like they've just slowly. I don't know. Softened? Yeah, they're know. cheaper to produce now. Yeah, like they're just not as good. No, they really aren't. Kids these days don't know what it's like. <laughs> what it was like being a t an early 2000s kid. Anyway, you need oh, to do yeah, voices for these, these, this, yeah. this, uh, this coven. <laughs> I, think I, think the <laughs> I think they're actually called know. the coven. I think that's their name. That would make sense. Yeah, yeah, we know. Huh? From you, Dimitri? Dimitri. Dimitri. <laughs> oh, hi. Uh, he looks like he's straight out of Castlevania. He does. You wound me. Truly, you do. After all I've done for you. Well, like, done to us. What about <gasps> that time you betrayed us in the middle of a cinematic battle, then unbetrayed us, then betrayed us three more times? <laughs> Is this... Oh, okay. Are they a reference to Dracula? Like, the legitimate Dracula books? Oh. Maybe? Because, I mean, in the Maybe. original... Dra in, the, in, in the book of Dracula, Dracula had... Basically, women he had inf infected. I think there were either mm. two or three. Two or three women that he... Tr turned and became his concubines. Ah. I don't know if that's exactly the reference, but that would be pretty cool beans. Monster High dolls are really high quality at the start. At the start, but as the years went on, they just went down in quality. You know, I'm I think surprised. my I think my sister had like a single Monster High doll, and it was like from a birthday. So I'm not too versed on them, but yeah, no, like there there was a. From what I remember, there was like a golden age of toys. Silly bands oh, were at yeah. the peak. Oh, they were. God, I miss those days. Ugh. So good. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> or that other time, the next morning, the empty bed. Oh. Why can't they talk as separate entities? <laughs> Why can't they talk as separate entities so you know which one is Borging <laughs> Dimitri? <laughs> Then so be it. Let's end this once and for all. And not like last time I said that, or the time before. This time I mean it. For real. Uh. Yeah, no, same. <laughs> what, did they all say that? Or was that I think it's just the, I think it's just the first one. I think the first <laughs> one is the only one speaking and they're all 
have a hive mind. Oh no! For real this time. Once and for all. Uh, uh, where did you- why did you- you're gonna- you're getting caught in the middle of this. Yeah. This is just like the seventh final battle these dorks had last- have had, have had this week. Oh, fun. Ah, you've had it with- with their nonsense. You take a fistful of ketchup packets and spew them all over Dimitri. Maybe someone will get on his cape and he'll run away and get it dry cleaned. <laughs> What's this? Blood. Oh, how you wound me, my loves. I feel no pain, but that is in, but that in my heart. I will sing, slink off to become to some cave to lay in agony between life and death, waiting to be tended to. You spot Dimitri squeezing some of the ketchup onto a hot dog and taking a bite on his way out of the cafeteria. What is that dude's deal? <laughs> I have no idea what's happening, but I'm glad I decided to do yes. this. Yes! <laughs> I don't... Okay, then. <laughs> Truly, thank you for selflessly helping us in our adventure, Red. Yeah, and, uh, Nah, no it was... <laughs> it was selfish. You really just want to eat in peace, but but whatever. Huh? Uh, huh? Mm, what adventure. Uh, uh. <laughs> well, you got friends. Eh, why not? They can go ahead and help you with. Ooh. Ooh. Solving the ancient enigma of your algebra homework. <laughs> Going to retrieve the legendary bag of lasagna flavored chips from the supermarket down the street. Well, down the street while you risk your life protecting this cafeteria table. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. If they're down for doing my homework, though... <laughs> they owe you. I would sacrifice not eating in peace. <laughs> <laughs> You're missing out on lasagna-flavored chips. Mmm, yummy. I'm sorry, but those three have the best fits in the game. They... I... I no, they have a... They do. They have a really good... Good, uh... I mean, if I could pull it off, I would, but I'm way too soft for that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Although... <laughs> Debatably, I really like. I don't know if I've shown it, and I don't know if we're going to see it, but I really like um, Scott's winter outfit because he had a um, like a red flannel lumberjack outfit. It looked awesome. Oh, great! Really? Yeah. Yeah. So you gonna go with algebra homework? Yes, please do my math. <laughs> oh, dangerous test. <laughs> But we are honor bound to help you. <laughs> oh, thank God! Yeah, really. <laughs> you are not looking forward to factoring the polynomials all the afternoon. Oh no, I've been doing that. That's what I've been doing. Oh. <laughs> Math magician. <sighs> Show yourself, Math magician. There's no hiding from us this time. What is this? Where are you? <laughs> I like the prepper aesthetic. Prep your aesthetic so the taller and shorter ones have. Yeah, no, I can see that definitely. <laughs> is it just me or does the tallest one not have much of a change in her expression though? <laughs> no. She's looked generally the same the entire time. <laughs> Tall, spindly man draped in numbers dotted robes emerges from beneath your table, cursing under his breath. Hope. Faith, joy, so we meet again. He cackles. Back for more abuse. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is the best way to be going about this. Oh, this is. Oh my god. Math and uh, magic. <laughs> you won't defeat us this time, wizard. <laughs> You've been fuddled with you fuddled our ally with your math magic for long enough. We'll see about that. Smokes the math mancer. Exponent patronum. Oh no! He's so with a flaming XY graph and it's going geometrically. No! <laughs> we didn't want to do this, but you forced us to use our cruelest <gasps> weapon. No! <laughs> Screams the math magician. Not the scroll of divide by zero. I'll do anything. Anything. 
It's too late, old man. <laughs> Approaching Zero for a long time now. It's time you finally arrived. But that's not how asymptomatic approach works. Odette's the panicked wizard. Zeno's paradox clearly states that the coven pays him no mind. They chant their in incantation, and the math magician vanishes in a puff of coefficients. <laughs> With the old geezer gone, you answer every math problem. Na is na the answer to every math problem is now 69. <laughs> Sweet. You're getting plus four smarts. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. Well, okay, then. I'm so glad I sat there. <laughs> I want to visit. I want to visit the shop here, but I don't have enough mm -hmm. to really get anything worthwhile. Yeah. So I guess I'll check out Zoe. Turn. Yeah. <laughs> Calculester is enjoying a nice, quiet lunchtime. Char. Not quite. Quiet lunchtime charge when Zoe interrupts his reverie with a question. Good word. Reverie is a good word. <laughs> I like her jacket. I know. <laughs> 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 hey, Calculister. I'm making a quiz so students can figure out which spooky high vending machine they are. You're <laughs> friends with the vending machines, right? I am friends with every person, friend Zoe. But, like, are the vending <laughs> machines people that you're friends with? That is a rather insulting question. Yes, vending machines are people, and yes, I am friends with them. Oh, sorry. <laughs> How dare you, quite frankly, you racist piece of- <laughs> Oh, uh, so vending machines have feelings? Of course they have feelings. Which feelings? <laughs> uh, um, calculating. Oh, I do not know. Oh. I am a terrible friend. Oh. oh, man, don't be sad. We can figure this out together for my quiz. But, how can we talk to the vending machines about their feelings? <laughs> use, per use pure logic, Cal. Vending machines seem to give give away things when you put money in them, so put coins in and ask about their feelings. <laughs> Just look up their manuals <laughs> online. I love conducting obsessive online research on my, all my favorite topics, don't you, Zoe? <laughs> I mean, honestly, I would, I would probably look up um, a manual to see if they, <laughs> if they have. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's genuine, um... <laughs> Who... Did someone say obsessive online research? She's taking... Zoe's taking lessons in, from her cultism being bigoted. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was bagel. <laughs> Let's do it. Calculus, you pull up the manuals. Manuals acquired. Opening section 23D. Discerning your vending machine's mood. I need to know this. I want to know how my vid how vending machines feel. It says here that there is an an analog switch on the back of each vending machine that sets its emotional state. Let's go look. Hop, 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 hop. Huh? Hmm. It looks like they're all set to crushing despair. Oh. Why are they all set to crushing despair? Oh. That seems to be the factory default. Uh, should we change it? <laughs> um. Best not to tamper tamper with factory defaults. Uh, okay. Hey, Bagel. <laughs> as long as we're doing exhaustive <laughs> online research, wanna go down an encyclopedia hole with me? An online encyclopedia? Yes, that sounds awesome. Oh, look at her face. oh wait, no. <laughs> what hole is this? <laughs> no. <laughs> There's not a hole you winning. <laughs> no. You start at vending machine emotional states and end up with dark rituals specifically involving cabbage. <laughs> are there... Can, can we get a search in the chat? <laughs> I want to know if there are dark rituals involving cabbage. Yeah, come on. Everybody chooses it as an activity. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. Alright. Um... Uh, Alright, ready? Yes. Three, two, one... Voice Very acting. Exciting. Oh. Yeah. Decided based on how weird yet interesting your next date would be if it revolves around doing this. How yeah. weird how weird yet interesting, okay? So it's not just interesting. Okay. Roller skating dates are a thing. They've been a thing for yeah. a while. And so they're not weird. weird. They're not weird. But a voice acting no. date? 
Like I think that would be really cute though. Yeah, no, that would be awesome. Like you just sit it's down and like fun. Oh very. I'd just so do something like that. Yeah, cool. Sounds really cool. Yeah. So it would be weird, you know, it's not a common thing. <laughs> Why are they touching the vending machines without their consent? No! <laughs> Oh we didn't ask for consent. Oh god. <laughs> um, so, a, a voice acting date, it's weird, but by all means, that would be super interesting. Oh yeah, dude, you win this. Voice acting a toaster? I would voice act a toaster. <laughs> and I, Can look. we get an example of this? <laughs> <laughs> Toast is ready, stupid. <laughs> Mood. Who put a bagel inside of me? <laughs> I didn't consent to this. <laughs> I'm just rack up the smarts. I'm gonna get so smart. Big brained bagel. Big brained bagel. <laughs> yes. Can we get a big brained bagel in the chat? Big brained bagel. <laughs> the day you learn a ton of spells that are all as cool as they are seemingly useless. A spell to renew sticker stickiness? Useless! No, Useless! That's so helpful. Come on. A spell to turn chocolate and vanilla ice cream to vanilla, vanilla and chocolate ice cream. Ooh, very Ooh. handy. A spell to gain plus two smarts. Does that mean I can just keep casting it and become infinitely smart? You actually use that last spell and you gain plus two smarts. Infinitely. You spot Zoe and say hello. She seems to be in a pretty good mood. Who, who did you eat? Oh, hey. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, Bagel. Sorry about running out on you before. I was just overwhelmed with all that cold oh, stuff. Oh, right. I forgot. I helped with the... Yeah, I did that thing. Mm -hmm. Speaking of them, they a... they've actually been a lot better lately. They're still pretty clueless, but at least they haven't given me any more dead animals. That's a bonus. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> I wonder what's gotten into them. Well, better not, better to not mess with success. <laughs> yeah, really, like, don't, don't fix what ain't broke kind of thing. Zoe, yeah. Oh. It is pronounced Zoe. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I gotta go study for my ambush finance midterms. Later. <sighs> oh, okay. Ambush finance, wait, that sounds awesome. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, please, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> As Zoe leaves, you notice her cultist peeking around a corner. When she's gone, they sheepishly approach you. Now, see, you don't know which one of them is speaking. There's a, it's obviously a group, so you can do any voice you want. Yeah, but the voice given is like, mm. I have to commit. I've already, I've already dug my, I dug my, <gasps> dug my grave. I gotta lie in it. All right. <laughs> hey, Bengal. Praise be to you for our unholy wisdom and stuff. We were just wondering. Did, did Zoe say anything about us? Did, does she like Aww. all the dead goats we're not giving her? Are we using the right pronouns? <laughs> we just, Aww. we all love her so much and we want to make sure she's as happy or unhappy and ruthless and sane as she possibly can be. Oh, they're doing their I best. I love her the most of all. <laughs> Who said that? Whoever you are, you can't possibly love her more than I do. I'm the one standing at the front. I was standing at the front last time. We all look the same because we're all wearing masks. Silence! <laughs> you can't silence me. You're not the. You're not my grandmaster. Well, well, someone is right. I mean, we all have a grandmaster, don't we? What what kind of cult would, would we would we be without a grandmaster? Um. <laughs> We, we don't, do we? Well, that won't do. Please, Bagel, grace us with your wisdom. How shall we choose our Grand Master? What have you gotten yourself into? <laughs> uh, oh, no. You need to learn to think like your mistress. Become a high school student for a day and the answer will be obvious to you. That sounds like a problem waiting to happen. Um. The title of the Grand Master should go whoever composed the best theme song to sing Zoe every morning. As, <laughs> as if it's a new episode of her life. Uh. <laughs> I don't think she would like that. I don't think she would like either of these. No. But honestly, if I'm trying to help improve them as people, wait mm -hmm. till they give her dead politicians. Honestly, <laughs> I mean, I think that would be ineffective. <laughs> so we should just eat. <laughs> 
uh, honestly, but if I'm trying to make them better people, I think them being able to understand her, you know, really see what she goes through would be the best way to go about that. You know what? That's that's a good point. That's fair. Hey, we respect your word. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> indeed. In the past, we have often contorted our forms and dark rituals in order to better comprehend the state of our dread leader. But this, this will be our most unwholesome transformation yet. Still, it must be done. Ah. Bring forth the backpacks and the three ring binders. Throw open the vaults and despoil them of their phone charms. Phone charms? Does anybody phone actually have phone charms? charms? I want some. Yeah? I want some. Yes. Those are typically... They, they, typically, they typically just fit in, like, the charging port or the auxiliary port while the well they aren't occupied right yeah or um since i have a wonderful iphone and don't have those i'm gonna i want to make one i'm crafty oh no, yeah no i mean once you once you get I your clay things. yeah and i wanna i wanna get a little clip and a little loop and i'm just gonna loop it into the bottom of a phone case t t tiny t tiny Frog charm. <gasps> yes. Tiny frog charm. Tiny mushroom tiny charm. I, tiny frog and mushroom charms. Like I, I, I don't necessarily want a phone charm, but if I was to get one, I would be so down to get a mushroom charm. That sounds awesome. Hey, 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 bagel boy. <laughs> what? Do you want a bagel phone charm? Yes. I can do that. Yes. I can do. I yes. Yes. <laughs> Dreadful leader. Maybe this is why Zoe doesn't like them. <laughs> At least say esteem dreadful. I know, right? How? I thought I thought we got rid of their prejudices. <laughs> I thought we we try. We're trying to. We're we're trying to improve them. They're not perfect. You know, we're just no. it, it's baby steps. Baby steps. Yeah, we're getting somewhere. We must commence the rituals. This is going to be the best semester of all time. The cults is dispersed throughout this school in their new gear to get the full spooky high experience. And soon... <laughs> oh, okay. We've learned a great deal in the past 30 minutes. Most of all, we have learned that high school is essentially a glorified popularity contest with a side of wanton drug abuse interrupted by occasional learning. <laughs> yeah. 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 Drug... And... You know, whenever I say drug abuse in reference to this, I'm not just talking about like, oh, yeah, the hard, the hard, bad stuff. No, like, caffeine, Red oh, Bull, no. is, Red Bull Bang, Monster. Those are prominent. Oh, Coffee, soda. Those are a drug. Yeah, listen. Coffee's high. Caffeine is a drug, Red. Oh, yeah, and, and it is I'm heavily abused yet. in high schools. Oh yeah. <laughs> that's, that's all it is. It's just saying. All it is is saying that they're they're abused and vapes. Uh, Nick Sands says the vapes in the halls. Yes, like oh, God, vaping yeah. is a huge issue. Like schools, schools implement like they try to put what alarms in bathrooms because kids go into the mm -hmm. go into mm -hmm. the bathrooms to vape. Like, mm -hmm. and they still get away with it. Coffee is fine, just not energy drinks. Coffee, coffee, like energy drinks and coffee are both generally fine, but they both have caffeine, which is by definition a drug, um, and it is it right. is abused. But listen here, man. I, for like health class, like two years ago, I tried to do. We had to do a presentation on a drug, mm -hmm. and all the all the cool drugs were taken, <laughs> and so I tried the to cool do caffeine. Drugs. And my my health teacher, our health teacher, was mm -hmm. like. That's not, that doesn't count. You can't do that. You can't. But somebody did sugar. Somebody did sugar mm. as a drug, which I don't think it is. I... If it is, it's not to the point of caffeine. How can well, you say that sugar is and caffeine isn't? Sugar is, I guess, technically, sugar is a drug, but so is caffeine. Like, in that same, I probably not the same health class, but in my health class, it was defined, caffeine was defined as a drug based, based on the sole, like, dictionary definition of drug which is a chemical that can influence your physical state yeah, essentially well then, yeah um well, but then why i don't know I don't man <laughs> uh but like caffeine uh, caffeine vapes which is usually what tobacco nicotine nicotine, nicotine. tobacco is a different thing but it does have nicotine in it um 
yeah, like, and then of course, if you go into the wrong places, it's heavier stuff and glorify oh, popularity oh. contest. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Definitely. No, they they really narrowed it down. Mm -hmm. We are a drug-free cult, and have sworn off learning as part of our pact with our dread leader. But the popularity thing gave us an idea. We are mm -hmm. hereby elevating our most popular member member of, to the role of Grand Master, Rad Philip. <laughs> Please step mm -hmm. to the front of the group. Rad Philip steps to the front of the group. He looks exactly like everyone else, but that swagger, so cool. Just by watching him, you gain plus two charm and plus one fun. Look at me go! Wowee! I hope I gain some stats this <laughs> round. <laughs> You're so smart. And that's it. And that's it. You have some cash. Uh, I'm so not bold. <laughs> <laughs> I just look bold. I guess. Honestly, I kind of um, dig the whole, like, looking really bold and really cool, but, like, being a huge nerd. <laughs> Dude, I wish I could fit that. I wish. <laughs> I just look like a little frog on a toad <laughs> stool. <laughs> uh, no, you look um, like a really rad person with hair for fi fire for hair. Oh, whatever, man. Mm. <laughs> um... Hmm. I'll go to the bathrooms. I haven't been to the bathrooms yeah, yet. Yeah, gonna get bold. Yeah. <laughs> that day, you visit the bathrooms and take to take number two. Don't worry, you know. there won't be an illustration of that specific moment. Oh, Thing is, you make one of the boldest decisions in your life. You don't put paper on the toilet seat before using it. Disgusting. An absolute oh. animal. <laughs> Look at you, you crazy mother hugger. You gain plus two boldness and probably plus one st staphylococcus and a slight chance of plus one STD. This is fine. Uh, this is fine. This is fine. The whole time you've been here, Calculester has been standing motionless in front of the mirror, gazing at himself. It's starting to creep you out, so you ask him what's up. <laughs> oh, hello, friend. Pay no attention to me. I merely compliment. Comp contemplating my lackluster appearance. What do I mean by lackluster? Well, Webster's Dictionary defines lackluster as lacking in sheen, brilliance, or vitality. Dull, mediocre. But in this context, <laughs> but in this context, I specifically mean that I lack the myriad customization options available to my more handsome classmates. I have no hair follicles and thus no hair to style. My skin is made of metal and plastic. Not ideal for the application of makeup. Stickers and paint. Boom. <gasps> oh, that would be adorable. <laughs> How will I ever become hot and sexy if I cannot tart myself up? Tart? My... Tart? He has been reading a magazine, pop, hasn't he? Pop tart? Pop tarts. <laughs> uh, slap a pop tart on him, call it a day. Perfect. No. Hot. Sexy. <laughs> Kathy Lester's <laughs> mournful assessment of his hotness tugs at your heartstrings. Surely you can brainstorm a way to jazz up his robotic looks. Real sexiness is 90% posture. Strike a pose like this one. <laughs> True beauty is on the inside, which is why you need to install a really sick graphics card. Well. <laughs> <laughs> I can see both of these working out. Oh yeah. But I think, I think I'm gonna go for the first one because I feel like that's something I'd actually do. Like if one of my buddies was like, ugh. I don't feel like I look cool. I'd be like, sure you do. Stand up Stand straight. Up straight. <laughs> yeah. Fix your hair. Good idea. There you go. <laughs> Boom. Perfect. All right. Fair enough. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> you stuck your sexiest cool. pose. The turgid <laughs> ferret. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> you have not practiced it in a while, and you immediately sprain your everything. Everything no. is sprained. Every. All of it. All of it. My I... <laughs> Why are you screaming in pain? Is sexiness 90% screaming in pain? <laughs> Conducting independent analysis. Calculating hotness. Please wait. Analysis complete. Total aggregate hotness estimated at 11 degrees Celsius and falling. Sexual hypothermia imminent. My internal oh. simulations indicate that the best way to recover some of your depleted health sexiness would be to grow very big eyebrows, change your name to Jordan, 
Dirty Pockets, Matthews, and move to a deserted island in the Caribbean, where you will be very attracted to seagulls. Oh. 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 Yes. <laughs> I am so glad I could help you recover from this unfortunate condition. I will now continue to mope elsewhere. Goodbye. Oh, bye, buddy. I'm sorry. Too bad he didn't help you recover from the sprint. Your everything is. <laughs> you lose tool boldness in one butt. Ouch. I'm just gonna have flat zeros by the end of this game. Jeez. Absolutely nothing. Ah. You're up. Again? Cryptid Comics. Wait. <sighs> you're out in the club having a great time when suddenly you become acutely aware of the inevitability of your own death. Same! <laughs> you think you're having an existential crisis, but it's actually just Zoe. <laughs> she coalesces from a murky soup of your all your darkest thoughts. It's cute. Oh. <laughs> What's up, Red? Enjoying your weekend? That's cool. That's cool. That's neat. Listen, I gotta ask you something about Bagel. You know, the one with a very nice butt and also... <laughs> Probably a personality. Let's go! <laughs> That's me! <laughs> well, we've been hanging out for a couple of weeks, and I have to admit, there's a spark there. But, well, if I'm gonna shit <laughs> myself with someone, I'm not gonna half, half do it, you know? <laughs> like... I'm gonna expect them to get into all the weird stuff. I'm a fan of magical anime tentacles. The look on a man's face as his last shreds of sanity escape through his ears like wisps of screaming smoke. Oh. A woman after my own heart. <laughs> but, you know, I'm not selfish. I want to get into whatever Bagel's into, too. I just want to know what I'm getting into as far as fandoms are concerned. <laughs> and you guys are... Oh. <laughs> Too bad she's 2D, man. Oh. <laughs> so, what's Bagel a fan of? Do you know? <gasps> Bus driver trading cards. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Well, I think your cards are pretty cool. Uh, I, I, I don't even know cool. which one would be a good one. <laughs> Me neither. But I think they're cool, so I'm gonna say they're cool. Okay. Oh. <gasps> <gasps> okay. Oh. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> Bustafarian? <laughs> oh. I like it. I, I... <laughs> Honestly... <laughs> if I'm not... I'm not saying this to be like in a jokey mood if they sold if there were bus driver <laughs> trading cards i don't know i can't say i would collect them but i would probably uh -huh. buy like a pack or two just because i think it's so <laughs> unique would. it's unique you would <laughs> <laughs> oh god we'll have to compare collections I've got all of history's greatest bus drivers. No way. <laughs> bus, bus driver, driver F. Oh. <laughs> bus driver Jewel. The action rap sensation known as bus driver. <laughs> I tried to get a card signed by our school's very own bus driver, <laughs> Otto Wolfman, but his hands are permanently glued to the wheel by a mummy's card. <laughs> Sign it with his teeth. Oh. I wonder if Bagel has a signed copy from back before Otto raided that tomb. I can't wait to ask. Dude, if in this world bus drivers are all like adventurers, <laughs> that would be sick. That would. Like, bus drivers have a second life that is literally just a adventuring. <laughs> That'd be so neat. Thanks for the inside scoop, Red. <gasps> as a show of gratitude, please take this. It's my spiciest bus driver. Dude, you gotta. Oh. Ha <laughs> ha. Ooh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Zoe hands you what appears to be a photograph of a bus wearing a thong. Juicy. You can plus three char. <laughs> right. Thanks for the stats. <laughs> hey. 
Everybody chooses a TV show. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. Uh -huh. Um, okay. Okay, wait, I need, like, a second. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. One. No, no, wait. More. More time. <laughs> Dang, she likes trading cards and has tentacles. It must be a dream girl. Look. <laughs> I don't like <laughs> what you're implying here. <laughs> no. No, I, I think they're right. <laughs> um, just pick a show. I don't watch TV, and the ones that I do, I don't remember the, well, the name of. Uh. Uh. I can't Anime? picture it. Alright, sure, we'll just, I'll, I'll, yeah, okay. Ready? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Ready? Yes. Drei, zwei, ein, Ruby. I didn't know what you were saying, I was gonna say Dragon Ball. Alright, Ruby and Dragon Ball. Based on how possible it would be for you to explain the plot of the TV show to Plato, given he's brought back to life only so he can watch a TV show. <laughs> Dragon Ball isn't difficult at all. There's like two tasks and it just keeps going. There's two tasks. However, However it doesn't stick to it. <laughs> Since when did you watch Dragon Ball? Dude, I watched... I didn't consistently watch Dragon Ball. But I saw, like, every odd episode. The fact that it's gone on this long and doesn't have... <laughs> it hasn't <laughs> concluded. You know what? You've got a point. Yeah, it's like trying to explain the. It's like trying to explain the plot of Naruto. Yeah, you It's one of those shows. Go ahead. Like, yeah. it's not a bad show. It just it goes on kind of past its lifetime. Yeah. Ruby's, you know, Ruby's not easy. No, not at all. Without spoiling it. Like, if I was to be... You know, just explaining the plotline, I'm sure I could get an easy one, but it would just spoil the entire thing. Yeah, yeah. Alright, I'll take it. <laughs> so close, so close to prom. Oh, we're getting there. We're getting there. Um, you know, I want to go, I want to go to the auditorium. Ooh. Look at me. Oh, look at you. Look at me. Dude, you're so cool. <laughs> <laughs> that day while rehearsing for the class play, it's as though the muses themselves had descended to give you a figurative help. <laughs> Your performance is intense and inspiring. You will be remembered for generations, which is pretty rad by high school play standards, really. Uh, look at the little dude up here. I head. know, he's just <laughs> uh, Maybe he's afraid of heights. It's like, I don't like it up here. Oh, jeez, Streamlabs. Jesus! Just wiped the entire chat history. Oh, I gotta, I gotta tweak that. I'm sorry about that, Nixon. Jesus! Oh. What was that? Jeez! <laughs> all right then. It, it. Please refrain from spamming all caps. I. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm sorry, Nix. Jeez. <laughs> It's angry. Streamlabs. What? What's, what's the deal? It's throwing a fit. Clearly. Jeez. All right then. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> you know Zoe with a big grin of the amalgam of chaotic nightmares she's used to form her face. It's adorable. Oh. Time to be passive aggressive with no caps. Go for it. Tell Streamlabs what for. <gasps> Look at Look her! Look at her! <laughs> oh. Dude, you're falling so hard. She's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe I'll make you a bagel charm and a Zoe charm. Yes! <laughs> I would buy merch with her, that's sick. <laughs> there you go. Hey, guess what? My latest comic? who watches the Watchmen uh, do things, just got published in a Weird Tales magazine. Ooh. That's pretty cool. Bagel loves That's a tootie cool. girl to end back. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should rename it that. <laughs> that might be the next stream. <laughs> that might be the next stream. Oh. 
I worked so hard on it, and it's finally out there in the world. Nothing can ruin this moment for me. Good for you. Good job. No. Who are you? No. Duck man. Gross. He he's, he looks like he looks like Mineta from My Hero. Oh no, he does. He he is the epitome of Mineta from My Hero. No. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a challenge. <laughs> oh. Man, I, come on. Why do you always have to slide into my DMs? <laughs> yeah, delighted moods. Delighted moods. <laughs> <laughs> because I must shed light on injustice wherever it arises. What about world hunger, global warming, <laughs> income inequality, or, you know, human trafficking? <laughs> you know, that little thing. That little thing right there, huh? You didn't let me finish. I must shed light on injustice wherever it arises. In the world of fandom, specifically. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Uh, oh. <laughs> cool. Social justice warriors win again, sir. I was I I got his <laughs> voice right. You did. It's not cool, Zoe. It's not cool that publishing houses are showering attention on marginalized authors just because inclusivity is hot right now. Mm. Is he the epitome true. of Reddit? <laughs> I think so. <sighs> I will say the little water blob on his head is pretty cool. Ah, uh, yes, that is because he is a kappa. Ah. Uh, a Japanese water monster that causes mischief. Uh, but ah. if the water in their head falls, like if they don't have water in their head, uh, I think they just freeze in place or they die. Just put a what sponge on his head. Really? Just, yeah. Just... They're very, they're very mischievous <laughs> creatures. But I think it's. According to whatever folklore you believe is the accurate telling of the story, mm -hmm. they can they can help with crops, I think, and they can also oh. heal. Oh! I wrote a book about uh, several cryptids, and that was one of them. Oh, uh, cool! Yeah. Um, I think I named him <laughs> Ka Kazut Ka yeah Kazuto Kappa. Oh. Um. Anyway, <laughs> I mean, look at you. You've got it all. You're purple, you're allegedly a woman. You come from a hideous dimension beyond mortal comprehension. Any magazine would die to be able to associate you with its brand. But it's all shallow marketing stunt. And what's worse, it's distracting from the real injustice that the liberal media is too distracted to discuss. Uh, dude is, a, is, a, is as aggressive as Streamlabs. Seriously, no kidding. Like, I... I won't disagree with one point that he's making, and that is companies that are, like, just including people or applying people based solely on their, um, the, based solely on the ability to look inclusive. Like, they don't mm -hmm. care about, you know, like, like a, like a job hiring a specific person because it would be inclusive, and yet getting rid of other candidates that might be more qualified for the job mm -hmm, mm -hmm. based exclusively on I think that's more shallow I think it's more shallow for the company to do that than it would be to find people that are qualified for whatever it is of that marginalized whatever cool. mm -hmm. like I do I think it's that do I think that him being aggressive like this is any just anyway <laughs> gross I hate him <laughs> Gross, he's like indeed. he's like if Mineta found Reddit. Oh no! Oh no! He's like if Mineta found. <laughs> I hate that. What about You're the artists wrong. who aren't part of some cool, sexy, underrepresented minority? What about us? How are we supposed to get recognized? If I was to entertain all the BS <laughs> you just said, I'd say. I don't know, maybe through a combination of talent and the numerous connections and avenues you have available to you as a privileged member of society. <laughs> oh. Don't you use the B word around me, Missy. If I'm so privileged, then how come my comic Zombie Sluts on Heck Island didn't get, still has yet to be published? I wonder <laughs> why. P word like, like, like pee pee. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> Good one. I think it is. <laughs> Man, I'm hilarious, dude. 
Because you spend all your time complaining about non-existent obstacles instead of getting better at art. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. Mm -hmm. Perhaps you have a point. Oh no, wait, I forgot you were a girl. You can't possibly, this can't possibly be my fault. It's much more likely that the entire industry is biased against me. Ugh, looks like there's only one way to solve this. Clearly. You're way ahead of her. You select the only option that makes sense. For years you've you've possessed the gem of Garuto, a powerful <laughs> artifact capable of raising four people from the dead. Why not resurrect the four greatest artists and ask their opinions? Use the Calcraft sorting hat to determine the objective of the two comics. Objective value of the two comics. <sighs> um, um, oh, I don't. Oh. <laughs> Uh, you know, I I want to see what the four greatest artists are. You were saving the gym of Garudo to resurrect your family in case they all died tragically for some reason, but it seemed this <gasps> is just as important. <laughs> you reached into the nether realm and summoned the... <laughs> and summoned Valesque, Valesquez, Goya, Goya, oh, Picasso, and El Greco. Four of the greatest visual artists of all time. <laughs> oh, hey! I recognize some of these guys. Picasso helped me design a layer of mental <laughs> anguish along with MC Escher and David Nitsch. Oh. Hey, well, that's a pretty cool base. Uh, was Picasso from Italy? Was yes. he Italian? Hang on. <laughs> Hang on. Don't, I don't know, man. <laughs> was Pablo Picasso from Italy? Pablo Diego Jose Fran Francisco de Puebla Paula Juan Nepo Museo Maria de los Remidos. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Italian of origin. Hey, Zoe, says Pablo Picasso. Long time no see. I heard you have some art for us to look at. <laughs> Wrong. We have one piece of art, mine, and one piece of trash. Hers. Here they are. Hmm. El Greco? Hmm. <laughs> Says El Greco, frow frowing his brow at the paintings. Is, is El Greco, that's, that's Spanish, right? He's Spanish? Well, it certainly sounds like a Spanish name. I... Oh, wow, that's the one accent I don't have off the top of my head. <laughs> <laughs> do you want me to do it? Yeah, go for it. Hmm, what sort of art is this? Was that it? I don't know. Yeah, close enough. You seem to have placed numerous tilting boxes inside of tiny boxes. <laughs> I do Who's Goya? Oh. Who is this? I'm bad. I don't. I. Uh, I didn't take question. world. I didn't take art history. Who's <laughs> Goya? I was told to take it, and then I didn't. So. Hmm. My bad. Spanish. Ah. I do not know what quite to make of this. <laughs> but even to my untrained eye, this one appears to be what <laughs> we refer to in the art business as a complete curse. <laughs> You're saying you are wrong. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's bullcrud. Uh did I do this one too, or is this one? No, nah, Picasso. I, I got Picasso. Alright, cool, cool. I do not know what I am looking at either, says Picasso, but I like how you put everything in little squares. I have a little... I have a thing about shapes. <laughs> oh, no. I can try and cover Spanish accents. <laughs> okay, go for it. Oh, hang on, hang on. Uh... I gotta find a way to get into the the accent. Mm. <laughs> um, uh, el perro. El, el gato. Uh, com, como está el queso? Ah. Uh. 
El huevo. Ah, none of those have R's. <laughs> Personally. <laughs> I know, I know. Just one, one little baby roll. Der, der, like that. Der, der, der. Personally. They have tentacle like emojis? What? Oh, man. Sick. <laughs> <laughs> I find Joy's piece pleasantly reminiscent of Frank Miller's The Dark Knight Returns, meditated by hints of magical Germanda, the unbeatable square g uh, square <laughs> girl, <laughs> all of which also influenced my own works, as you can clearly see in my famous painting La Meninas. <laughs> Heck! <laughs> I'm gonna try to post angrily about how the, these four dead artists are part of the liberal establishment, but it doesn't work because they don't have social media. You get plus two creativity and plus one smarts from hanging out with famous dead painters. Really, it would. Hey, yeah. let's do this. Let's All go. right. Hopefully, you have less accents to try and <laughs> figure yeah, out. Really? Um. Uh, let's go to class, I guess. Oh, nerd. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looked like I'm having fun. Yeah, that looks, that's about as accurate as it would be. Yeah. <laughs> that, the day, that day, the teacher is just tired of teaching, so she recurs to the classic technique of not giving a crud and putting you putting on some kind of historical TV show for you to watch. What oh. you don't expect is that it's super effective. Whoa. God bless the golden era of television. The TV show is compelling thanks to the ridiculous amount of nudity and bloodshed. But at the same oh, time, cool. you actually learn a lot about history. You gain plus two smarts. Surprising. All right then. Now you've got a problem though. You've got to do a group math presentation with Calculester, Scott, Miranda, and Dahlia. Who's Dahlia? And none of you are the least bit prepared. Who? <gasps> she looks sick. I like her. Ah. <gasps> Scott's outfit. <laughs> I, he looks so cozy. I'd wear that hoodie, no doubt, no doubt. No, me too. Can we get? Is that merch? Can I buy that? Can I buy that hoodie? If it is, we should get matching hoodies. Oh yes. 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 <laughs> mm. Oh yeah, this is me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> aren't, aren't all the math answers to math sixty nine out? They are. <laughs> they are. You solved it. Boom. Easy. I'm in can see. In <laughs> <It's sense. mad. sighs> I'm gonna go cry and sleep in a corner now because of that. Re. <laughs> Is math not a subject? And yet we still believe as if we are its subjects, <laughs> bending to its will. Yeah. Calculuster, as you are a computer, can we not pay you some paltry sum to merely calculate us a presentation? First of all, that is racist. Second of all, <laughs> I too anticipated this group project would pose me no difficulty. That is, until I learned of our topic. You mean, why three is the coolest number in the alphabet? <laughs> in hindsight, it was probably an error to allow you to select our topic. Three is not a number. Sure it is. It's a number between three and five. Oh, Scott. 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 You were thinking of the number four. Oh. Yup. My bad. But is it far too late to change the topic of our presentation? What should we do? Not over. <laughs> you gotta do oh, a Damien no. voice now. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. She oh, is just the baby voices. Is she, is she like Damien's sister? I hope so. She's so cool. Ah. <sighs> <laughs> Never surrender, Scotty boy. We'll make three even to a real number with our <laughs> <laughs> That is not how numbers function. Oh. Oh yeah? Says who? <laughs> M math. Well then, looks like we'll just have to call for <laughs> math. 
with the eye. I. Uh, it's not worth it. Conquest! Yes! That's more like it. I want to help. I love helping. I too will support this doomed crusade, as that is what I have ded ded deduced as a true friend would do. <laughs> <laughs> the math wizard gonna get beat up. <laughs> He's we're gonna s okay. rise, math magician. <laughs> okay, great. Everybody's on board. That just leaves one little nagging question: How seriously, Streamlabs? Chill. Oh. What did it do this time? <laughs> Extreme Labs! What? What? What happened? Extreme Labs, please! This is my one viewer! <laughs> what? Extreme Labs is angry. 70. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Nixian. I'm so sorry. <laughs> And she's royalty, don't let her near the crusades. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure, uh, Miranda started some of the crusades. <laughs> okay, great, everybody's on board, how are you supposed to actually conquer math? <laughs> with our fists, with, with our fists! With your fists? Yes. Yes. But friends, math is an abstract concept. It cannot be punched. It lives exclusively in the abstract world. And where is this abstract world? Should we just prepare <laughs> for a long journey full of misadventures and foes to me? A D&D campaign wrapped around the math magician. Oh, <laughs> that would be something. No, the abstract world is a concept. It's nowhere and everywhere. <laughs> it's everywhere! That means it's airborne or something. We're surrounded by the abstract <laughs> world. Oh no. The numbers are like surrounding us. It's an odd bunch. <laughs> <laughs> we must fight if we don't want to perish here. Start throwing your best punches. It's now or never. <laughs> <laughs> Nixian versus Streamlabs. Really, I'd watch that fight. <laughs> For some inexplicable reason, everyone seems to think that Dahlia's line of thinking is valid, and thus they follow her command. Soon, everyone is punching the air around you. All this happens in the middle of your math presentation. The whole class is basically witnessing you throwing punches and making weird noises. You fail math, and your friends are disappointed at you for not knowing that math is resistant against fighting type moves. Everyone oh knows math God. is weak to rock and <laughs> everyone knows math is weak to rock and bug type attacks. You lose your dignity and math is too smart. Uh, Ouch. I don't want to look at anything uh, left. Um uh, Um Um uh, all right, 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 um... Um... I'm gonna pull up my Spotify. <laughs> think I know names of songs? No. Yeah, no, I'm in a similar boat. I know, like, one song name. Uh, ah, that's what it is. I know. Ah, uh, what got you? What got you, Nixium? Seven capitals, huh? Well, now, the more we know, I'm probably just going to disable it for next stream, but jeez. Yeah. Okay, I got one. Alright, ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Thanks, I hate it. By Simple Creatures. No Mercy by Living Tombstone. Hey, that's a good one. Mm-hmm. Because of how intrigued you would be to hear the story of the couple that states that is their song. Thanks I Hate It is very problematic for this. Yeah. The whole song is about, um, like, I guess it would be the guy, because he's, it's a dude singing, who's in a relationship, mm -hmm. and he's like, uh, oh, I give you everything, and you don't give me anything back. All I want to, is to hear you say that you hate it, because I know you hate it. I know you hate everything, but you won't say it. Say it to my face. That's the song. Ah. Uh. And then, I mean, No Mercy would literally just be, like, two people that argued over a game and ended up getting a relationship over it, which would be cute. It would be really cute. That would be. That but, would like, be. I mean, I could kind of piece it together from hearing it. Yeah. 
<laughs> I think Streamlabs needs to improve their moderation. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah. Jeez. Alright. Yeah, so, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. <laughs> so close! Last day! Let's do this! Ooh. Let's go! Who are you? Who are you? It's it's big girl again, remember? I know, but I don't know who she I don't even know her name. Yeah, me neither. That's why she's big girl. <laughs> Jeez. Listen, I dig her, but yeah. it's getting near the end, and I, I want my computer. Board. Yeah, 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 I get you. Yeah. When you arrive at your chosen table, Calculester is there by himself. A few mo moments later, Damien comes stomping up, even angrier than usual. Oh God. no. Whoa, what is that outfit? Oh, sweet outfit, dude. Calculester. You, your stupid friend stole my candy bar. Scott stole your candy bar? What? No, the vending machine. I put money in, but it, the candy bar just got stuck on the stupid coil thing. Oh, uh. wait, no. Cal just admitted that he was dumb. Hmm. Scott. I buddy. mean, this is Scott. Yeah. And it I is think it's generally Cal well known. Just being flat, yeah. Being honest. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's okay, I guess. <laughs> My stream is really fun. It's great. Yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad that it, I'm glad that Streamlabs isn't ruining your experience here. I really appreciate you sticking around, Nixian. Yes, thank you. Can we get a big preach for Nixian in the chat? <laughs> <laughs> ah, I see. Because we were both machines, you assume we are friends. But Cal, you, you admit it. <laughs> You to being said friends. You were. Well, yeah. In this case, you are correct. Vendronica is my friend, but she is also a vending machine, and so cannot be reasoned with. I am sorry, friend Damien. Oh. I knew using my words was a mistake. Time to stick my hand up the old vending chute. <laughs> oh, friend Damien, desist. This is a gross violation. A vending oh, machine yeah. chute is like your organic butthole. <laughs> I don't care if it is my organic funnel. I paid for that candy bar, and I'm gonna get it. I can respect the hustle. Uh-oh. Maybe you could say something to defuse the situation. Not everything is about money, Damien. Maybe the vending machine doesn't want to give you a candy bar because of something you did. <laughs> Calm down, Calculus. There are plenty of good reasons your hands put up a <laughs> put your hand in a butthole. Damien's just <laughs> giving the vending machine a prostate exam. <laughs> How are things up here? Is feel healthy? <laughs> okay, but I'm gonna go with the first one purely because I I bet, I bet, I bet at some point something similar like this happened and Damien just like punched the machine until he got the <laughs> candy bar. So I would not be surprised. <laughs> something I did, but I've never done anything to this vending machine. Except for punching occasionally when my quarters get stuck, or when I'm angry, or when I'm happy, or when I haven't punched something in a something in a while. Well, surprising. Oh. <laughs> Cal Calculester, do vending machines not like getting punched? Nothing likes getting punched, friend Damien. Whoa. <laughs> it looks like this is one problem that maybe can't be solved by punching. I thought I'd never see the day. <gasps> Sorry about your spectrum vending, vending machine. You can keep the candy bar. Green letters flash to the vending machine's digital display. Thank you. Calculus simulates <laughs> a sigh of relief. You've done a good thing. Good uh, job. Yay! I, mean, being a... I might have no stats, but I can make friends with robots. <laughs> I don't know if that's... <laughs> Streamlab being on drugs wouldn't ruin my experience. Your streams are so fun. Aw, oh, thanks, Nixian. I, ah, oh, gee, I appreciate it. I really, I really Aww. appreciate that, man. Thank you. <laughs> you sit down with Zoe and Scott. Scott is eating his trademark pizza sandwich, which is just three pieces, oh, slices of pizza on top of each other. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> and has Zoe has a notebook out and is taking notes. You found a funny band word. I'm scared. Is it? Huh. I can't imagine why. Um, Zoe just has a notebook taking out. Uh. But how do you get your food, Scott? 
Why do you want to know so bad? It's pretty normal. No, it can't be normal. I'm doing research for my latest fanfic. <laughs> Cry havoc and let... And let look the dogs. The oh, dogs. No. <laughs> it's about a pack of werewolves going on the biggest hunt of their lives. A hunt that will change them as hunters, but also as rare people. <laughs> wow. No saying screw or using all caps. Yep, that seems to be Streamlabs' <laughs> vendetta. <laughs> they went looking for food, but were found with personal growth and no <sighs> understanding of group practices. This, yeah, that's definitely... Yeah, that's Zoe. Yeah. And food. So that's why I need to know, how do you hunt? Oh, well, normally I go to the cafeteria and I ask for pizza. That's it? What about hunting in a pack? Enjoying the spoils together with a feast of blood and rage. Exploring each other's bodies. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess sometimes me and my cousins order pizza at home, and the pizza comes and we eat the pizza? Zoe does not look at all satisfied with Scott's answer. Or maybe you can get Scott to give some juicier info, or convince Zoe that ordering pizza is actually dramatic. <laughs> Scott, what about when you go searching for pizza in the wild? So we don't dismiss the utter suspense and extreme pathos of waiting endlessly for pizza to arrive. Truly, it's the central tragedy of the 21st century. <laughs> I was really right when I said Zoe was a closet pervert. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah. Yeah. I still love her character, though. <laughs> you know, honestly, I just want to see what Scott does. Yeah. Oh, man. We did that one time, and it was the worst. There was no self-service, so instead of calling for deliver, we had to transform into wolves and chase it down. <laughs> <laughs> and when we got there, it wasn't even three, it wasn't even pizza, it was three deer. But there wasn't any bread or cheese, so instead of bread, we used deer flesh. Instead of cheese, we used more deer flesh. Instead of pepperoni, we used... <laughs> deer flesh? No, beef jerky. We're not animals. Well, I think you are, Scott. <laughs> I think you are. <laughs> now, did you... Oh, sleep in your little camping trip? In the nude? Yeah. <laughs> or in the nude or cuddling? I think he's with his cousins, man. <laughs> it looks like this conversation is finally going the way Zoe wanted it to. She shoots you an appreciative wink with one, slight, <laughs> with one of the light devouring voids that pass for her eyes. <laughs> Aww. Oh. It must be the tentacles. No, wait. <laughs> I'm gonna choose something cool. Say your choice. Ooh, Ooh I got something. something. Cool. I got ah, something. I got one. Ready? Me too. Yeah, Three, yeah, yeah. Three, two, one. Leather Ice. jackets. Uh, I see we were going for different things here. <laughs> Based on how cool it would be if 100 years from now, humankind built a 200 foot statue commemorating a selected thing. Okay, okay. It's I'll give it. I'll give I'll give that to you. I'll say a giant a giant statue of a two hundred foot statue commemorating ice would be really funny. It's but like a giant ice cube. <laughs> like a leather a statue of nothing but a leather jacket commemorating what? Like it would be the leather jacket, but it must have been like what would that be? Like the fifties, sixties? Yeah, something like that. Like just commemorating, like, this is what our ancestors wore in the old times. <laughs> <laughs> and there's Man, no other statue like it. Now, I know, leather jackets are so cool. They are. I kind of have one, but it's not real. You can tell. Mm. So it doesn't have, like, the, the full, like, essence, mm -hmm. you know? It's not the same. Yeah. I have mine. No. I'm very happy with mine. Yours is pretty good, I I'm like glad it. to say. I like it. <laughs> <sighs> Mm, it's tough. Are we going for funny, or are we going for like... Well, I guess they're both kind of funny. <laughs> if global warming happens, there won't be ice. Yeah, clearly. <laughs> it's point. just a faux leather jacket with a cheap zipper. My why is that? Random. Yeah. Yeah, we both... We, it's kind of... Ah, uh, equal, <laughs> equal terms, different categories. The oh, ice oh, oh, oh. Ooh. <laughs> Yeah. Um. Mmm. Choices. Choices. Last day. Let's stay. Let's stay. 
Let's go out with a bang. Let's go to the gym. Wrap right. somebody in the head. <laughs> somebody with a dodgeball. Clearly, just decapitate them. Yeah. That day, an epic dodgeball match takes place. At one point, you're about to be eliminated by a player from the other team, but suddenly you convince him not to throw the ball at you with a heartfelt speech about the importance of everyone's lives. The player bursts into tears and you take advantage of that moment of his weakness, throwing a ball at him. You lose <laughs> minus five mercy. So that might be useful in Monster Prompt Sinkle, but isn't now. We can check that maybe next stream. Ooh. I have this. I have Monster Prom sequel. Oh, you do. I do, but I've been hoping oh. to get through some of the timelines and possibility endings in this before we hop onto that. Ah. And you gain plus two charm. Ah, finally something on my side. <laughs> A few minutes later, Calculester approaches you. You can tell he's nervous because of all those fans are running at the maximum speed. Jeez. Oh. Hello, friend Red. My calculations indicate that I possess greater than average amorous feelings in relation to you. Oh! You should play Cinderella Phenomenon. It's an autom. It's, it's an autom. 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 That would be hilarious. <laughs> I might look into it. Mm. I'm considering upgrading our relationship to more than friends. However, mm. quor uh, quantitative, quantitative analysis of the relevant data pools indicates a disturbing trend. Mm. If potential love interests cannot get along with the, their partner's interests, relationship successes probability drops to 0. 0.006%. Oh, that's scary. I have what organics, what you organics would call a good relationship with the library computers that function as my parental units. Oh, Tommy. Oh, yeah, I'll definitely, I'll look into that. I would like you to meet them and receive their blessing. Since you are such a kind, upstanding individual, that should not be an issue. Oh, heck. <gasps> Neither those I neither neither of those adjectives accurately describe you. More like, more accurate would be horny and horny. <laughs> <laughs> well, looks like you've got to concoct a brilliant plan to woo Calculus's parents, oh. offer to def offer to defragment their hard drives for them. Isn't that like the head massage for computers? Learn binary oh. so you can converse with them in their native tongue. Ooh. Ooh. Choices, but... choices. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, I can see both I'm of these going horribly, horribly wrong. Uh, me too. Not only that, but after he said that that statistic, I'm terrified. <laughs> I don't want us to drop, I like you. <laughs> <laughs> um I don't trust head massage. It's the second one. Alright. Your fate has been <laughs> sealed. <laughs> You pick up a copy of Binary for- <laughs> I'm not gonna read that out. Dummies. And get to studying. You learn some basic conversational phrases like, Nice to meet you, and I would very much like to practice intercourse with your son. <laughs> the day goes great. Cal's parents are so impressed by your linguistic chops that they give you his admin password. Ooh. Look at you. Oh my. It seems they have given you administrator access to my system. That kind of access, you could just adjust all kinds of preferences. Screen resolution, plug and play, mouse sensitivity. <laughs> oh. You're a little disturbed that his parents gave you intimate access to their son's most personal config files. But who are you to judge their culture? You get a plus two creativity, plus one smarts. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <That's it>. Um. <laughs> who? Let me think. It is that's fun. That's is this creativity? I think this is creativity. I think so. That day while rehearsing for the class, you aren't especially good nor inspired. For once, it seems you aren't getting classic creativity boost from the auditorium. <laughs> Dang it! Oh, oh, oh. Uh, but afterwards, after talking while well, talking to your classmates, you're having trouble conveying your point of discussion. Point in discussion. So you decide to convey it through music. You start singing. <laughs> And suddenly, everyone else joins you in a in a kick butt musical number. It's so amazing that people with whom you were arguing totally get your point and change their minds once the song is over. You gain plus two creativity. Let's go. Hey. You finish what you're doing, and you're about to settle down for some quality slacking off. When so, <laughs> you're about to, you finish what you're doing. I finish my musical number. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just you know, wipe the sweat off my brow. Just have the water bottle. You know, towel appears out of nowhere, just wrapped around my neck. Whew. 
<laughs> Zoe summons a towel for you. <laughs> a, a, so an an eldritch that. towel. That'd be cool. <laughs> when Zoe's cultists come shuffling over, they're back. Greetings, mighty prophet. Your disguise is so convincing today. You look for all the world like an ordinary high school student. Yeah, cool. You ask them what they want. <laughs> want is a concept alien to us. We receive everything we could possibly desire through communion with our dark mistress. <sighs> Why is that voice so scary? Because the cultists. <laughs> but uh, we, we need some advice. You see, tonight is a recurrence of an event which used to bear great significance against the cult of Zagord. <laughs> Infringement got... <laughs> <laughs> Infringement got banned by Streamlabs. Oh no. <laughs> it is the night when the bloody moon passes between jaws of Dracolic Dr Peak. It's causing this realm in the plane of torment to merge. We usually plan all kinds of events for... <sighs> is this... Try it or this looks like a Caesar it? cipher. That's what this looks like. It does. Noot boom job dip kutra departum ritual cannibalism profane summonings partial reading of dianetics but the cult of Zagord is no more we are the cult of Zoe now and he wants to do something oh okay I hate that <laughs> the creepy masks that I have on my um <laughs> when my shelf just fell over. Uh, it's them. They're coming. <laughs> <laughs> oh um, no. We, we must. Like we want to do something to show our lady the our ev of endless regret how much we've changed. As you have not yet led us astray, O oh great and terrible prophet, we humbly petition you for advice. What ritual be would would be worthy of the mighty Zoe? Most powerful bonding ritual ever. A cute slumber party! Oh. Classic cult suicide, except instead of drinking poison, we all drink delicious blue flavored energy drink. Uh. Mmm. Mm. What do you think? It's mm. kind of trippy. I could see either one, honestly. Um, what are we. Like bonding. This bonding, bonding. Slumber parties. Slumber <laughs> parties are where bonding is. Like, mm -hmm. if you've ever. Bagel just slumps over. It's <laughs> clearly. <laughs> not not before prom, please. <laughs> slumber party. Why did we not think of this? Of course, we must celebrate slumber on the very day as the Gorda woke from its dark realms beneath reality. Bring forth the profane idols. Make sure they are absolutely drenched in infant blood. Someone go pick up some ice. You <laughs> gently interrupt to explain what a slumber party actually is. So, no infant blood? You shake your head. I see. <laughs> but that sounds... pleasant. That you explain that... The point. Yes, this, that is the point of a slumber party. <laughs> Pleasantness was always an... 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 an, an to, to, the, to the cult of Zagord. But we are the cult of Zoe now, and you are her prophet. We will trust in your sage advice. Just then... Zoe appears. Dang, you wanted this to be a surprise. Hey guys, what's going on? <laughs> Not sacrificing any babies, I hope. <laughs> no, we would never sacrifice any babies without asking you first. We wish simply to invite you to... Um, uh, to what? Um, a nocturnal congress. Ugh. No. The Nocturnal Congress. I'm so over Nocturnal Congress. No, no, this will be different. There will be no painting and, and makeovers. We will discuss in cons <laughs> conspiratorial tones those who we most desire to smooch. Oh, <laughs> you, you mean like a slumber party? Oh, you die on the eve of prom so you don't see any more computer. No, no more computer oh. flirting. <laughs> you know of this ritual? <laughs> but I like the, I like giving her a list, but I don't want to not give her one. Do it. Oh, gee, yes. I can't believe you guys are planning a slumber party just for me. This is the best. <laughs> Do it. Yanjum, <laughs> ever. 
<laughs> well, in truth, the idea originated with our prophet, the wise Bagel. Wow, Bagel? So you're the one who whipped my cult into shape? I can't tell you how great I am. It is I, fall in despair before <laughs> the sage wise Bagel. Huh? If you came to this number party, maybe I could show you. Please. I won't. What? Wait, what? <laughs> no, I was gonna make a joke. Hang on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Looks like posing as a prophet of a mindless cult is finally gonna pay off sexually. <laughs> you gain plus two fun and plus one boldness. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Who will you ask uh, to prom, uh, Red? Come, 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 yes. yes. <laughs> My name is Calculester. My name is yes. Calculester. Yes. <laughs> hey, Zoe. <laughs> oh, you guys are so Let's cute. You match in yellow. Boom, 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 boom. You finally <gasps> pluck up your courage and ask your beloved to the monster prom with you. Oh, going to prom together? Eh. Uh, I mean, low battery, critical levels, can't respond to awkward question, shutting down, beep boop. What? What could you have possibly done better? Bagel likes tentacles and fangirls over himself. I mean, what's new? What, what could you have possibly done better? I don't know. To repent for the sin of making such bad choices, you were forced to walk around the school in the nude, accompanied by a nun who chanted shame over and over while ringing a big bell. Classic. Oh, no. Hey. Hey, uh, if it isn't my favorite prophet. Oh. You've been the best, Bagel. Those cultists were just the worst until you finally did your thing. Oh. Huh? You care, and caring is pretty cool. <laughs> do you know what else is pretty cool? An army of cultists that want to do anything to worship me and please you. Am I gonna be killed? So cool. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> so what is that prom night? We all look for new ways to have fun together. Like Magic the Gathering. Wow, <laughs> <laughs> You have a lot of fun. You and Zoe have the best time together, and cultists make it way better. They laugh at your jokes, making you look funnier. <laughs> ah, they're the <laughs> ultimate wingmen. <laughs> Man, an ultimate smash tournament. <laughs> <laughs> they surround you in a circle, mesmerized while you and Zoe slow dance. What? By the end of the night, they join you in some very restless rituals and flavorful festivities. Oh. <laughs> uh, I feel I've made a mistake. <laughs> but I'm fine, this is fine. <laughs> ah, and Zoe, so fun, so fabulous, so fierce. She surely is one to worship. All hail the cult of Zoe! <laughs> I'm not even on the board. <laughs> you aren't. Uh, Zoe took your place. <laughs> we had say we had similar smarts. That was it's cool. It's whatever, man. <laughs> All right then. I like it. Some of the most epic monster prom we kept living our lives. And you know what? Like, it is life to have one is more wonderful. Calculator led a robot uprising, but it was, like, uh -huh. a nice uprising. They didn't riot or kill people. They just politely asked to have more rights and equal pay. Everything was fine oh. until some monsters led a rebellion to kill all robots because they were rude robo-racists. <laughs> oh. We're looking at you, Leonard. <laughs> oh. But everything ended up just fine because Calculator traveled back in time and took care of it. Oh. Mm -hmm. So he dedicated the next several years to writing her most ambitious fanfic ever, focused on the struggle, struggles of Shaggy containing and controlling his <laughs> limitless power. 
It delved into the psychological nuances of the mystery gang, and while also including crossovers with Akira, Flubber, and the unbearable lightness of being. <laughs> it, is, it is said... It was said to mix Tolsti, Tolstoy's mastery of prose and the juiciness of a very juicy Big Mac. It ended up <laughs> entering the Western literacy canon. Literary wow. canon. Jeez. Liam kept going... Liam kept doing art so hard that he eventually evaporated and became a concept of coolness itself. He left oh, the physical really? plane. The last thing Liam did was uh, was give everyone a condescending look. <laughs> All right, battle for monster prom might have ended then. Last war he called youth, but once again we were young and afraid, and we were ready to start. <laughs> and I'm gonna skip because I don't know if this is copyrighted and I could get in trouble. <laughs> Shop now has a paper map, so vintage. Nine new images. I kind of want to see what these images are. Yeah. Namely, Polaroids. I want to see. Oh. Yeah, no, I've looked over all this cute art before, but I'm mainly looking for what's new. <gasps> oh! oh. It, it, it's a convention. It's MonsterCon. Yeah. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. Oh. That is so sick. <laughs> So cool. And unfortunately, that is the only, <laughs> the oh. only new Polaroid we got. We got a rejection one for. Uh, of course. Ah <laughs> uh, yes, this was this. Was, hang on. Ah uh, yes, from the time that Damien killed me. Ah, <laughs> uh, the cult of Zoe. <laughs> ah. Alright, I think that's just about it. Just going through the unlocked art stuff just to get it out of the way. Yeah. Some concept arts. Oh, neat. Yeah. Fan art. Ooh. Ooh, Ooh I like that. Yeah. I, I don't even know. Yeah, no, very good. Kind of off-putting for the character it is, but no, very good. I'm, yeah. I feel like I've read things I shouldn't have. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> <coughs> ah, man, doing that, doing those voices really did a number on me. Doing those voices has made me realize that all of my voices are very baby. Uh, that's fine. It's just is baby or lisp. <laughs> That's all I have. <laughs> <laughs> Whew. Alright. Well. Ugh. Yeah, my voice is finally catching up with me here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I just want to thank... <laughs> I want to thank everyone that came out, so thanks, Nixie, and I really appreciate it. I really appreciate it, man. Thanks for sticking <laughs> out. Uh, and, of course, th big thanks to Red. Big thanks for Red for, for dropping by and joining me for this. Uh, do you have anything yeah. you want to plug? Oh, uh, well, I don't have any, like, video stuff up yet, but I do make art. I draw things. Uh, I do a lot of bagels thumbnails now. Uh, mm -hmm. so if that you like true. art, I guess, uh, follow my Instagram again. What's uh, your Instagram? Oh, I am... Yeah, can... I'm, I'm copycat, but like I changed the username and I don't remember like how many periods are in between it and stuff. Here, here, you, you give me the link over Discord and I'll drop it in the, I'll drop it in the chat. Oh, sweet. Hey. Yeah. Uh, I think That's I also funny. have it linked in every, in every single video description, um, for the thumbnails that actually look good. So the ones by her. So oh. they should all be there. I, I link it every time oh, I can. Thank you. But I am going to put it here in the... In the chat, so everyone can can catch it now. Okay, there you are. All right. <laughs> Copy. <laughs> and put it right here. And I mean, uh, if any guys uh, really like my art, hopefully I can open commissions <laughs> pretty soon. Yeah, so, no. Uh... <laughs> Help fuel my plant addiction, please. <laughs> yeah, fuel the plant addiction. Get some clay. Fuel clay addiction, you know. Just build up build yes. up the addictions really. 
Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so I, I had a really good time. Really, it was it was really fun. Yeah. Me too. So big thanks to thanks 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 for everyone dropping by. Make sure you charge Ooh. enough for commissions, says Nixon. Yeah, make sure. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll be here to make sure she's charging appropriately. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So thanks for thanks for stopping by. Um, and I don't have too much too much else. Um, I guess. Yeah. I guess without further ado, um, as always, just have a nice night. <laughs>